and we are doing Wild Gods. Yes. Yeah. We're doing Getting Captured. Well, one of you. Oh. At least one uh, of us. Yeah, at least one of you. Um, there's the possibility that Isaac's care Charles might get captured because he's wearing the creepy ass face mask. So you know. Oh. Uh... <laughs> but then that's when someone just posts in the little thing from like Hoodweed. We don't arrest people for being creepy. Um... Yeah, sometimes you do, but not always. Oh. Uh... I mean, I'll give it a roll, because it looks like porcelain if you just take a glance at it. Even with the stitching? <laughs> well, basically, it's like very fine stitching, so unless okay. you're close enough. So, it's like, just... a first, if like he actually like looked at him for a decent amount of time, you would notice, but... They also can't but tell he... what kind of creature he is. He has yeah. the ring on. Yeah, they also can't tell what he is. <sighs> Just, you know, he's not already um, weird enough as a warlock. Oh, that is, that was such a freaky Doctor Who episode. Oh, the, the dolls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I actually uh, have uh, another group in the same setting that they're basically, uh, they're, I think next week, yeah, next week they're going to encounter my thing that I got inspired by watching The Weeping Angels. So, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay. gonna have a fun time. Don't blink. Don't whatever you do. Don't turn around. Don't look back. And don't blink. Uh, our our John and um, why am I spacing? Uh, John isn't. Uh, but uh, Jake Tyler hmm. and someone that we brought in from when Jake was working at Lowe's. Okay. Well, tell Jake I say hi. Okay, yeah, that's that's decent enough to notice the freaky face mask and also the fact he can't tell what the hell he is. Hmm. So yeah, so two members are going to be arrested. (laughs) Hmm. Yeah, so this... You guys just got out of this terrible, terrible place. You guys haven't had a chance to rest. The sun shines up, and you're like, yes, the dawn has come. And then a bunch of uh, a lawbringer and his 20 guards just roll up in here and want to arrest Taco, and then they add in the fact of uh, arresting Tim because he looks freaky as all hell, and they can't really tell what he is. Fair. All right. Uh, at which point the priest and his uh, completely normal red irises. What? <laughs> He's a cleric of the man in the black suit. All of them have, like, the red iris. Okay, it's just the way you said that made me think it was abnormal. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of the point. Uh, he asks the law keeper for 30 minutes to help them to give a carriage to help transport the prisoners since they're so wanting to help. Hmm. I don't Uh, think we, I don't think we can go. Sorry, but there's more than my life at stake. Unfortunately, the law must be upheld. All right. Well, if you want me to go willingly, we need to do something about uh, the few people that we have left over, which were like, I think, the Ken Coop pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we need to make sure they're safe. Kritmir <laughs> leans over. May I ask the charges of my fellow compatriots. The law keeper looks at you. It's business for those of the Dorinthian Empire. It is a matter of the empire security. I really doubt that I know anything that would be you know, so important the empire 
I quietly pull out the giant vampiric cleaver and just hold it into my crossed arms as I look at you. What happens if we say no? We'll have to take you in by force. And on the off chance that, uh, well, you and your friends go our separate ways. Without me going, what's the probability of that? That cannot happen. We have to take you in. What right. may I ask what the bounty is on his head? Because we <laughs> might be able to trade. That is not how this works. Hmm. Okay, how about this? Uh, if I go willingly, you have to speak on our behalf as a party to uh, help muster forces for the oncoming tide of dead that we've been running from. We have not encountered this dead you've spoken of. Yeah, that's because he came from the north. We came from the south. I'll send someone to look into it. Oh, no, no. Don't send someone. They will die. Send everyone. Our forces are of better use elsewhere. We will send scouts. Right. Just, just a reminder to the bus. player, we're technically outside of the civilization, so they don't really care so much at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and whilst the townspeople are helping get like a carriage set up so you guys can ride in it since they don't have like any spare horses. Uh, the cleric pulls you guys aside. Uh, you're being watched, but there's distance enough where you can talk. Oh. You've got, you, you lot have done a lot for this town. We can't help you. As he walks by a stable where you distinctly remember there being a couple more horses than there are. Than there are currently. None of me and my townspeople can go out and do anything on your behalf. He repeats again. As you notice, some of your people that were rescued from there are now also gone. Mm. And he just like slightly nods to you like... Hmm. There's so. well. Well, I mean, to be fair, we did find out that most of the people that we saved are dead anyway. We saved some. Yeah. That's true. And those that we did are gone. Well, a couple of them have left. And he's saying that legally, he and his town people can't help you. And walked you by like, oh, some of the horses are now gone and some of your townspeople are gone after this occurred. Yeah. Mm. Well, and it's the best gives, you can do and we appreciate it. Yeah, he gives you a nod. I'll see what sort of pressure I can exude. You deserve more than this. Well, I mean, we'll find yeah. out. The team, I think it's time for us to leave. <laughs> Wait, are we gonna make a run for it? Is that what's going on? <laughs> I don't know, are you? I mean, I don't really see the point. I feel like if I can plead my innocence, maybe I can get them to actually start doing something against the undead plague. The only thing I feel like they're going to do is shore up defenses around the civilization. I really don't think they're going to attack the source of the undead. But they might grant us the leeway ability and perhaps maybe a little bit to, well, <laughs> basically take on a suicide mission myself. Mm -hmm. They right. might give me enough rope to hang myself with, and who knows what happens if I come out the hero. <laughs> They'll tighten the mm -hmm. rope. It's it's the empire. Probably. 
No, technically, you guys haven't met my character either, so. Yeah. I'm just watching this happen right now. Uh, Taco, I I will st I have stood beside you in battle, and I will stand beside you to the end. But it is your choice of what you do. Well, I think it'll Should be we... a lot easier for at least for me to move around. You know, if I'm not an outlaw, which I didn't know that I was an outlaw, I'll look at the lawmaker and be like, "So that's news." Yeah. And uh, might as well clear up the charges, I guess. Question about <clears throat> things I remember of your backstory. Weren't you once part of their religion? Um. So, let's see here. Um. So, I am attempting to bring some chaos, uh, change, good chaos, um, I will, uh, so basically it's just my bond. I will someday get revenge on the corrupt temple hierarchy who branded me a heretic. Basically, I ran away from them because I found out that right. they were corrupt. Well, they branded you a heretic. Uh, how much, how much do we know about the religion? Um, they're very much about law and order and subservience. So I feel like it was because you were branded a heretic that they're arresting you. Yeah. Because huh. just reading about it's Doran, right? Yeah, Doran. Yeah, Doran. Uh they like anytime anything happens, they praise Doran. So if you're a heretic, they're probably gonna want to kill you. Mm. Kill you or make you an example. Well, make an example of you by killing you or torturing you or you know. Yeah, cutting your ears How off. Are they? They're lawful, technically. Uh, they're technically lawful good until you piss them off. Then they're lawful pain. Yeah, um, lawful good does not equal lawful nice. Yeah. <laughs> how many? Uh, how many people? How many law bringers? There is the law keeper and twenty guards. Oh, twenty. Um, how no, yeah. yeah. Klesh is not getting involved in this at the moment. Like, are you talking like not... elite warriors or like, hey, I just hired these hooligans? They're probably uh, guards, they... which are with that many. I don't care. They bear the uh, colors of uh, Dorinthian soldiers. So they at least have decent training. Hmm. Oh, so th they might even be like uh, the stat block of um, uh, veterans, conceivably. So maybe mm -hmm. maybe we shouldn't mess with them, with 20 of them? Yeah, I was thinking about, you know, maybe if I should go, you know, try to collect some of the faces and throw it on them, but I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, this I need to unusual... go in the basement of the temple real quick. Yeah, this is unusual even for them to bring this many for a single person. I feel honored. <laughs> and so are they all riding in carts? Huh? Are they riding all in carts and horseback? Uh, they're all riding horses. Okay. Uh, above board, uh, there will, if you let yourself be captured, there will be a point that you can, like, escape, and I'll basically stop to let you know that that's kind of the opportune moment. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, you know, I'll probably go with them to to, to and just keep watching yeah. for an escape opportunity. Yeah. Just to let you know that if you do go with it, it isn't going to be like, and, da, 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 and you're dead. Yeah. Like, okay, cool, great. So the uh, half-orc uh, approaches you, um, Klesh does, and, and he just says, remember the, uh, what is it? Is it Iron Path or Iron Way? I keep forgetting. The Iron Path. Remember, you can always move along the path. Yeah, I think I'll take the path of least resistance for now. Hmm. And yeah, I will, I guess, submit to them. All right. uh, but I assume that my friends don't go as prisoners, just me. 
uh, just you and Tim because he looks very creepy, and they can't really tell what he is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're on the map. Okay. Yeah. I was like, "What the heck is going on?" <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah. Out of order. Okay. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. It says the party. Mm-hmm. The party is here. Yeah. And they ride off with Taco and Tim. Hmm. Uh, Hi, Taco. And, and the cleric just stands next to Critmere. You know, while we're preparing the uh, carriage for them, one of the guards mentioned that they're going to be heading to Sin Trail. Hmm. Where? The next town to the northwest. I just pinged it. Okay. Hmm. Good to know. Do yeah, we people have here. A wag? I mean, I'm certain I saw you roll into town with one. Aren't you? Let us get it. Let's get your wagon ready for you. Hmm. I think that's a very good idea. Yeah. Would uh, Would you like some help with that? Absolutely. Well, I see you. Who are you? I see you in the shadows as you listening to our uh, hmm, encounter. Oh, I'm just a, a a deck hand with no deck to hand. Aha! Uh-huh. I wander. Well, my crew recently went down with the ship. Ah, uh, condolences. Yes. The sea is treacherous. Well, hopefully some of them went along the uh, iron path. I see. Well, sadly, it is just... Uh, I left in a group of adventurers that um, we must get our friends back. Yeah. <laughs> Would you, uh, are you one to, uh, protect the innocent and or do you go where the most gold is? Well, gold never hurts. Aye. Fair warning, people tend to die around us a lot, so be prepared for that. (laughs) You're you're not there. (laughs) <laughs> we we have not taken an easy path on the our taco adventures. On, yeah, the taco on Fritner's other shoulder mentions that. Oh yeah, yeah, because you have the sol- <laughs> sho- you have the little soldier guy on one, and then you have yes. little, suddenly you have a little oh, taco yes. show up and say something and then disappear. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, this is my knight friend sitting on my shoulder. Hmm, nice he is a wonderful companion. Salutations. As he salutes. <laughs> he must look like a little little grasshopper on the shoulder of a Goliath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, this is not an easy path that we take. Would you... Are you one to protect your friends or do you run and hide when things get tough well if i can protect i will but i he has flashbacks to the ship being blown up by pirates <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. I, yeah the last thing you remember before going under the water is his two amber eyes blazing in fury at you hmm Glimpsing the fear in your memories. Uh, It's probably more like anger, actually. (laughs) Okay. We could use that rage in what most likely, if knowing our past ventures, there will be uh, many evil things to vanquish. 
Yes. If you are brave enough, I will take you along and, and chase after our friends to see if we can rescue them. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with. I have, well, one, I have nothing else to do. Two, it looked like your friend maybe was on the uh, path, or is striving towards the path. Aye, that he is. He speaks of it often. And I, I warn you, he is um, quite boisterous in, in some topics, but if you would enjoy that company... I think I might. Ah, uh, good, good. Well, I am a wanderer, but these have become good friends, and I, I dearly wish to uh, see them rescued. So I think we should talk to our friendly host here and finish our business that we had dealt with last time and see what we can do to leave. All right. Where is that priest? I believe uh, he yes. went to your wagon. Oh, yes, I, I was gathering your party's wagon that you came here with. <coughs> ah. Sorry, I, I have Me? a cough. <laughs> it's ready with some uh, your supplies as well. Oh, thank you kindly, sir. And if you have, uh, and when we get back on our feet, feel free to come back here at any point. Thank you kindly. Uh, it saddens me that um, we cannot save more people of your of your village, but you know we do what we can. It saddens me when I can can do nothing for heroes that are being have the might of the Dorinthians uh, forced upon them. Mm. Well, I did, uh, while we were wandering through that vile place, I did find this wonderful silver banquet set. Would it be something you would want to keep, or...? You can keep it. We'll clean that place up. Ah. There should be no more evil things in that, but it, it, I did leave a mess there. Watch out in the kitchen. You smell it like smoke. Uh, yes, it was um, quite a, an adventure in those vile places. Yeah, uh, you probably remember that Crow set all the tapestries of the heretic <laughs> corrupted rituals on fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. Yes, he was quite um, zealous about making sure evil would not, uh, even the uh, images of evil would not last. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Stay safe, and we must be off to the next town to see if we can find so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hexes. Oh, yeah. our journey is long. Yeah, the um, journey is a long one. Yeah, but they're, they're burdened by more people in a cart. We, we may be able to catch up. Mm -hmm. Okay, we must be off. I, I am strong, but I am not uh, one that is good at stealth. My, uh, my young, my little monk. Um, well, no, you're, you're quite large for a monk. Yeah, I'm, I'm half work, so we're kind of in the yeah. same boat. I, yeah. I am not stealthy. Okay, well. But I am athletic. Good. <laughs> I, uh, I have a hobby of throwing boulders, mm. when I'm bored. So. I, I'm only a half work, so I don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A full orc would. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, we need to be off to the town. Let's get in our wagon and go. All right. It is a very fine-looking wagon. 
along with two fresh horses, basically. There uh, is provisions as well. Uh, more land One travel. Oof. <laughs> um, and going back to Taco real quick, uh, hours have passed eventually, and they feed Taco. They do what at me? Feed. They give you food. Oh, okay. All right. Could you make me a constitution saving throw? Oh, of course. <laughs> I would have led with the question of do you eat the food, but that works too. <laughs> I, mean, I don't really have a choice, do I? Well, I mean... Good news is... Yeah, you don't have any poisoned. rations. <laughs> and they're not going to let you scavenge. Yeah, so yeah, I guess you have no choice but to eat their food. All right. Uh, essentially what occurs is they drug you and everything is just woozy as all hell uh, and you're not really coherent can you check for tim too yep i'm sure his con's not much better but Oh. He actually succeeds. <laughs> His con's worse, but he did it. He did it. <laughs> um, so for Taco, this whole trip kind of passes into delirium. Fair. Don't take the stickers they give you. I don't get in the white carriage. Um, Too late. <laughs> The party follows. You all eventually end up in Sin Trail. Oh, we didn't catch up, dang it. I mean, we did, because we got to Sin Trail, but... I, I mean, you caught up, but... There was the same amount of guards. That moved us. Mm -hmm. And what follows in the town of Sin Trail... Is probably the most of, of a mockery of the law that you've ever seen... They literally bring Taco up to defend himself whilst in this state. Are you serious? Uh, some of the guards look kind of uncomfortable with this, but the lawkeeper's on this, like, tirade. No, no. Uh, could both Kritmir and Klesh make me a perception check? Uh... Perception... <laughs> Ah, perception. Okay, I, I am at least mm. proficient. That that's better than nothing. Mm, what do I see? <laughs> well, you see more than I do, which is funny because I had a plus five. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let let me roll. Let me roll uh, the stealthiness of this. It's I decent. Rolled a two. What is this? You don't see anything. <laughs> oh heck! Oh. Oh. Mainly because it rolled really well. Um, uh, Taco, you can make a perception check at disadvantage. Okay. Uh, it's lower than that for you since you're literally like right there. What about, uh, well, I guess if Tim's still in the jail, he couldn't make any check. Okay, so no one notices anything. Well. Mm-hmm. What happens then? Uh, they then say they're going to take them out into the desert and basically uh, finish him there and leave him to the wolves, essentially. is the end of his little speech. Uh, they basically start going, and I'm going to ping like that direction, essentially. Okay, northeast. Uh, you guys easily follow, being quicker... And also, they're not expecting two guys to try to ambush a wagon train of guards. That's probably what we're going to have to do at this point, unfortunately. Uh, and the moment that occurs, with, which is the most opportune, is you're behind the wagon containing taco. Okay. And a sandstorm hits. Oh. Well, this seems like a good a time as any. Wouldn't you agree? 
Agreed. I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, Would everyone like to do? I, uh, hmm. Are you any good with the locks? <laughs> um, no. I can pick things up and throw them. Hmm. Well, maybe you can break the locks I can, then. I can break doors down. Not a problem. I can break yeah. the lock. I, I could easily do that. Well, I would like to try to get to that wagon somehow. It It's close enough to you, and most of them are panicking due to the sudden sandstorm. Okay, so, so I don't need to roll stealth? Uh, not at this point, no. Okay. Uh, so I, I go up there, and I look at this really weird purple tiefling with white hair as a gray orc with half work with green hair you know Ugh. you know he, he looks totally weird right um yeah <laughs> i don't look weird at all uh and he's still woozy yeah um hey hey you hey gotta tap him well, uh, you went out of here face. oh yeah i guess so one moment. Oh. Ask him if he wants food. Are you hungry? Always. <laughs> I, I uh, give him a ration and see if that helps any. I mean, he's not hungry. <laughs> uh, he said always. <laughs> not as hungry. Correct. Uh, I mean, I... Like, he's obviously been drugged, so maybe this will help clear his system. I don't know. So I, I give him a ration and see what happens. <laughs> we, just need a, we just need to okay. break the lock and get him out. Uh, I look at the lock. <laughs> what kind of lock does it look like? Like a padlock? Yeah, it's like a padlock. Okay. Uh, uh. I mean, I'm going to try first, because why not? Yeah, whoever wants to... Well, I made a strength. Just... It would be the Shit. same if I did athletics, because I have the same proficiency bonus. Okay. Yeah. So there is a very loud thing as you basically kind of pseudo rip somewhat, not fully off, but pseudo rip most of the uh, wagon door off. <laughs> uh, I was just trying for the lock, dang it. <laughs> Oops. Well, wow, this lock is really hard. well connected. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, there is some shouts because someone heard something, and this is now a skill challenge of you getting the hell out of there. Well, I pick up, uh, or, or no, I, I go to pick up Taco, and then I look at the Goliath. I'm like, yeah, you should probably pick him up. <laughs> I got Taco, not a problem. I can pick him up. Yeah, yeah. Taco, potato, potato sides. <laughs> <laughs> you, you mean potato mm -hmm. burn sides? <laughs> <laughs> a potato yeah. sack. No oh. worries. You get the little one. Don't look at his face. Well, I think mm -hmm. Tim's lucid, technically. <laughs> yeah. He he starts going with you. Yeah. And now it's going to be basically skill challenge. You guys have to get... This isn't a difficult one, so basically four successes before three failures. Okay. And you guys can tell me what you are using to help get away. Um... And... Hmm. Oh, I can't use my shepherd scarf yet. We haven't rested. Crud. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Mm -hmm. I forgot to rest. Um, let me see if I have anything that I can just use, like, uh, to help with... Hmm. What do I got here? I, I know feats wouldn't work the same in a skill thing, but... Probably give me some sort of a bonus or something. If I have anything that would work with it, I don't think I do. No, it doesn't look like it. I mean, at this at this point, I could just push the card over and smash it into something else, and then try to make a run for it. All right. Yeah, uh, that would work. Roll strength, basically. Roll athletics. Yeah, roll athletics. Athletics. Yeah, it's the skill, not the save. Oh. Oh. Okay. So there's. There's one failure. You you still manage to do it, but it takes a really long time, and it 
ends up not really accomplishing anything. But right. Up oh. hmm. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm proficient in that could actually help here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm strong. Sure. And usually that works. Can I try to intimidate some of the guards? <laughs> to slow them down? And I'll cast the matter G on you, so that way your uh, voice well, is loud. You're basically uh, <laughs> incapacitated, I think. Oh. Uh, he he's groggy. He could make stuff a disadvantage. Uh, yeah, okay. it, it, I mean, I just don't think you have access to your spells in this state. Is what I'm thinking. Uh, no. Roll me a d20 if you roll above a ten. Uh, you can uh, your spell goes off normally, essentially. Okay. <laughs> All right. So is this giving you work? advantage? Yeah. Okay. You sound louder, so it sounds like maybe you are bigger or something of the sort. Okay. All right, so there's a success. I intimidate them to be I... slowing down because they're yeah, a little they, bit afraid they hear, now. they hear something big and loud in the sand square storm. I do my best not... full orc impression. Yeah, and they're not necessarily sure that they want to go in there where they can barely see each other. Hmm. Hmm. So one and one. What can I? Is it sandstorm right now? Yeah. You guys are in a sandstorm. Do 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 do. Let's see. I can push, drag, and lift over a thousand pounds. <laughs> tried that once and that didn't work yeah. i mean i could try to find like look for a better path but i mean it's just a straight line from where we are to the carts and well you can like look for some uh, to make a path that like weaves away from them yeah i'll, I'll do that i'll use uh, that that sounds like perception right <laughs> uh perception or survival that sounds like perception right <laughs> yeah I, i'm trying I, to I perceive before. how they're moving so we don't run into them Ooh. You get lost just like everyone else. That's two failures. Oh, oh. boy. Hmm. Are we near another cart? <laughs> that I can try to flip? Uh, you're, you're now, like, in this sandstorm. Uh, you could try, like, digging underneath the sand. <laughs> I um, suppose we could try hiding that way, but... Oh, crud. I can't use Intimidation again, because I already used it. Yeah. I'm going to try to hide. That's, we, we're going we're gonna to hide in the sand. Yeah, that works. Something. Okay, assume stealth you're check. Being, yeah, assume you're being aided by uh, Tim or Taco. Taco, help me hide. <laughs> Probably be Tim, okay. actually, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's two successes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you guys sure. just need two more. Can I use the, the religion against them? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, assume that Tim is aiding people. Okay. Uh, I'll get advantage on a religion check to, like, spout things about Doran that would tell them not to be killing innocents. That sounds like something you would say. He's lawful, right? Ooh. All right, you just need one more. Uh, mm. Well, see, I could also make a religion check saying that this storm is divine proof that we are innocent. Ooh, yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, somebody okay. could aid you so you have a regular roll instead of disadvantage. Yeah. Tim will aid you so it's a regular roll. Okay. Fingers crossed. This will make a break in. It succeeds. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> they are halted in the wisdom of your words. And you manage to throw them off so you can get back to your wagon without them noticing. And they're just digging and searching for you. Yes. We became one with the sand, and then we quoted things from their religion and got away. <laughs> did we uh, Did we travel in single file lines to hide our numbers? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sure, so they they think there's only three instead of four. 
<laughs> I mean, that was the stealth check, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys basically, like, dived into a sand dune, was threw them off, and then they started hearing people spouting religion at them. Uh, uh, where do we go from here, guys? Now that we've successfully evaded these people. Um, I, I put distance th between us and civilization as far as we can. So, All right. are we heading where would you, Where would they least expect us to go? Um, west, back towards the Dorinthian Empire. Should we do um, it? Well, I do. My character doesn't know this, but uh, you guys would probably want to go back down to the town that the Kenku were in, because nobody oh, knows of that place. Wait, and we were supposed to go to the ocean too, weren't we? Or that was a long time ago. Yeah, we need to finish that quest. How much time do we have left on the? Not that technically I would know. But... Uh, I would assume, knowing that this might have taken a while, you gave it to like someone to run it for you in Pure Book. Yeah. Okay. Because the amount of time... Well, we had a lot of time, technically, because the, the person... You had a month. Yeah. So we still have time. We could go due north. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. And we yeah. could just go straight due north. No, uh, it was this ocean, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Oh, we have to go to the other ocean? Yeah. Oh, crap. Um, that's a long ways away. I mean, I don't oh. mind paying for a courier. Uh, and then... Well, meaning I would assume, like in Pure Book, you're like, oh, this might take a long time because the trial did take time. Yeah, so you probably. You... <clears throat> Somebody probably mentioned it. Sent the letter right. off with someone else. Yeah. Okay. I will have done that. I will go to the local post office and drop that leather off crowd you probably going. you probably mentioned it to the priest when you were walking around with him yeah. before you actually left uh is there actually so a fee associated with that uh normally there would be a fee but you you kind of removed the the evil mega vampires basically from their basement right so wait why do i have no gold on my character sheet what is this do I not have any gold from my background? So, which way would the party like to go? Well, my, my meta vote is going back to town. <laughs> which town? Uh, the the, the uh, town that we left the Kenku in, down there. Oh, the one that we created. Um, well, the ruins yes. that we, we appropriated. Our settlement. Right. The our settlement needs settlement. our help. Um... Yeah, we we can do that. I do not have objection. It'll be a long journey. I do not have many rations. Uh, uh, you were given okay. a lot of provisions from the town. Ah, okay. Yeah, plus, yeah. now oh. we have an outlander with us. Yeah. Looking in yep. the looking in the wagon. Okay. Taco, yeah, are you awake take, now? It'll take him a few days to get it out of his system unless someone does some medicine on him. Uh, I can try. It I mean, if I rest great. 24 hours, I could do it to myself. Yeah. Or, well, or, yeah. He, he was saying medicine check if we want to do something now. I suppose it, yeah. I can't <clears throat> hurt him any worse if I fail, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can yeah, but when, a, when Taco well, rests, he can do his paladin and stuff to detox himself. Is a 10 enough to figure no. out how to detox him early? No? Okay. Doesn't matter, then. It, you... Taco eventually. Well, wait, can't he just lay on hands himself? Or not? Yeah, five points to get rid of a disease or whatever. Oh yeah, he can because he has can just do that. Day. Yeah. Yep, yeah, but only after I uh, rest. No, it's been days. Oh, it's been days. Yeah. yeah. Oh shoot! Yeah, then I do that. It's just they kept, they were feeding you it every day, so it just didn't occur to you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sailor background. Let me see if I have any money. Yeah. So Taco self rehabs Ten himself. Gold. Okay. <laughs> this is the redundant. I told me to go to rehab. rehab. I said no. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So the plan is to head back to, to your uh, fledgling town. Well, I mean, 
technically my character would just go wherever you guys go because he doesn't know about it. Ah, I'm good with that. Yep. And that let us wander back to our town. All right. Do we need to roll any encounters? Well, something happens here. Okay. Uh, you see humanoid figures approaching the cart coming from the south. Uh, that don't look good. Or it could be good, I don't know. Someone from the south. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it's not the uh, people that we're running away from, so... No, but didn't you say the undead were coming from the south? Yes. So... I mean, uh, I don't know what they are, though. So. Uh, I could try to, you know, look and see perception check of what they are. What's in navigator's tools? Would tools I have a spy glass? It's usually for uh, sailors. Well, yeah. yeah, but it's navigation tools. So, like, uh, uh, sextant, I... compass... Would, would I have spy a spyglass? Glass map. Yeah, that's what I'm measure, I mean. I wouldn't have a map from that. A you get a map from car sense. cartographer's tools. Okay. Spyglass would like make sense. Can, okay, then can I use my navigator's tools? Well, I guess yeah. it'd be the same as being proficient in perception anyways. I just want to pull it out and use it. All right. Roll perceptions then. Well, I mean, I'll actually use the tool because it's the same. Well, meaning... Uh, Chris also wanted to see if he All could right. notice. <laughs> um, technically, I technically I did better because there's no crits on. <laughs> yeah, technically. Um, he just did it in a Plush, more flashy Plush way, just, I guess. Plush just sees some gnolls. Uh, Critmere, you recognize the one who is leading this little group of gnolls. Uh, it was the one with uh, twin flails uh, that had taken his people elsewhere. Oh, I'm like, the oh, ones that, that we... that's a really cool flail. <laughs> hey, he he wandered with us as we we left Buck Hollow. Mm -hmm. I call out to him, and, and I remember you. Are you okay? Uh, Maybe we he should waves. team up. He waves. Um, and I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't speak no. He starts speaking in very broken and. Simple common. Oh, well, that's good. Obviously, he's picked something up in the time you guys have been gone. Oh, wow. Hello. <laughs> well, technically speaking, he had enough downtime to learn a language, so... Uh, pink yeah. one safe? Uh, for now. Scouts couldn't find him. Was concerned. Oh, yeah, no, we, uh... We've been all over the place. Uh, where, uh, how's the, uh, the front line going? Are the dead still marching this way? They left somewhere. Concerning. Interesting. From what you described, a large army of undead just disappearing. That's scary. Yeah. The Noel nods. New home, though. Come. Yay! Whoa. Yes, okay. gladly. Where are we going? What about the What about the people we left in the little village? I believe our new home is modified. Your place. Oh. Little no. bird men talk much. Yeah. Lead the way, my fine little friend. He nods. I'd say something about medium-sized creatures, but you're a Goliath, so whatever. <laughs> well, he's he's also like he is a very big mole for a mole. Yeah, but Goliath. Yeah, but the Goliath is still bigger. Yeah. Yeah. But from he is the least little mole of the little moles. <laughs> 
And so the rest of the travel back to town goes uneventfully. <laughs> I just zoomed in on the party token. That is, that, that is a nice skeleton. Yep. <laughs> and as you approach, okay. you hear people talking. You hear uh, various uh, barking and knoll. You hear kenku because random mixing of voices. Uh, there is smoke from like campfires and stuff and chimneys. Hmm, quite a cacophony coming from here. Maybe a Ciceris. The Null uh. <laughs> uh Wants to take you to new Null leader. Other Nulls not as trusting. Keep head down. Respect. We, I will okay. gladly give respects. Okay. Follow. Keep head down. Let me know if any other no give no respect. Uh, yeah. And then he like cracks his neck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he leads you into the mine, which uh, from your vision looking down, you can tell has actually been started to being renovated, basically. Hmm. Someone's been doing some work here. And there's some places where, like, there weren't doors before, but they added, like, either, like, leathers or something to kind of give, like, a parting, like, a door, like, curtain door, basically. There's some bead doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he leads you through it and he leads you to uh, the very far back end of the top layer and from your position looking downwards you see the baseline of what looks kind of like uh, if someone had a throne that was like thrown together and then Anul speaks to you in completely clear common well, that's new. Hmm. You know, uh, Mr. Burnsides, I hope you don't do what you said you would do to me on that train. Otherwise, we might have, like, you know, a political issue here. What? <laughs> Raise your head. And they're grinning at you. It's, it's the no null from session one. From session one that you spurred from the train. And you said if you gonna... ever met again, you would kill him. Mm -hmm. Holy biscuits! Grinning like an absolute madman. <laughs> well? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm surprised you're alive. You know what? I, I won't kill you now, because I know a lot more of what's going on. He laughs. Yeah. I've heard a lot of the things that changed are thanks to you and your... A first traveling companion. Yeah. And your new one. Uh, yeah. And gives a nod to e each of you. Uh, there has been many adventures. I mean, the only thing yeah. I've done is bring someone from jail. I don't know. What, what have you guys done? <laughs> Robbed someone. We traveled through... Time and space, we've pissed off gods, we've pleased gods, ran from the undead, watched the uncoming horde, almost died. It's been fun. Well, I think I'll stick around. Sounds exciting. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about the whole head lord things. Some of them, he looks around to gnolls that you haven't seen before. From Some of the other survivors aren't really keen on uh, the peace at the moment. I well, look at the horde and I pull out the jar out of my pack of the ashen remains of a vampire's heart and I just set it on the table. Now look, the jar of ashes? What, what is that? I this feel it has the... a story to it. <laughs> I... This was the latest of the evils that we have vanquished and we must rid this world of there was no need to squabble amongst us 
when the evil is abounding. Uh, the As big I... gnoll thumps his chest and nods. I'll pull out the head of the vampire lord, too, <laughs> and, and put it on the table. Where was that? <laughs> you don't want to know. What they left that on you? Thing. <laughs> Maybe one of them discovered it where he hid it and just snoped it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, they left his weapons on him too. I don't know. They're not very good at this. Yeah, no, I, you know, I was talking to the head whenever they checked on me. <laughs> you, you probably were actually. You're out of oh, it. Oh, Hamlet. Yes. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew you well. Um. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It seems you've had more adventures, but I'm glad you're safe. I had heard disturbing news of something occurring to you. Uh, um, well, yeah, there was a time when I just about lost my life because someone else decided to draw a card. Uh, be careful of cards. Uh, I was meaning your issues with the lawkeeper. Oh, yeah, that guy, too. Um, he doesn't know where we are. <laughs> I hope that continues. Yeah, me too. Because uh, I'm not going to jail. It would be good to stay away from civilization for it, now. It doesn't sound like you were going to make it to jail. Fair. We were going in the opposite direction of, I think, where we were supposed to go. Yeah, you were kind of out of it for your own trial. They were going to basically shoot you in the desert. Oh, what a bunch of assholes. Well, if we come across them again, I won't feel bad about killing them this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, we've heard reports about uh, the, some Dorinthian soldiers moving and that lawkeeper has seemingly been erratic. Oh. So, certainly seemed like it was on a tirade. Yes. That concerns me. His behavior matches some that has happened to some of our people. That's not surprising. He seemed very, as a protector and lawkeeper, seemed very uninterested in the oncoming potential death threat. Understanding that, you know, he might not trust the source, but... And he, like, looks around. If you could come with me and we can continue this privately. Yeah. And he leads you to an adjacent room, basically. <laughs> and in it is a very old-looking knoll that has, like, a bunch of uh, various... Uh, he has a necklace that has, like, various things, like a feather from a... Raven, uh, like a claw from some other animal, like the tail of a coyote and various other kinds of totems. Wait, is it is it a tail of an actual coyote or is it a tail of another knoll? That... A tail <laughs> of an actual coyote. Okay. Uh, both eyes uh, milky. Looks like I nod my head down. Greetings, the ancient one. Greetings, heroes. Mm, uh, I wouldn't go that far. Fallen, those who will fail or those who will succeed. That's fair. I strive to live and vanquish evil where it exists. Much evil is coming. This is good. That you are seeking such a thing. Mm -hmm. To be pre prepared, how is your village? Your village is growing and prospering. It is good to see. Yes. We are a few thousand of our people. 
but we still have our people. That is important and so close to the evil that we ran away from. And then it looks at the leader. I assume you wish for me to tell them about it. Them. Uh. He nods. You've probably heard us mention, or various survivors mention, that we don't want to be uh, fall to the witch. Yes. The what now? Oh, I'm guessing you're new. Yeah, I'm new. A great evil that tried to claim us once before we were rescued. Uh, by he whoever wanders and took us to this world of yours has finally found us and sent his servants forward his witches his manipulators his liars his skinwalkers Mm. Wait, we know that one. <laughs> I, I, I believe we got the name uh, before. What was it? Yonoku? Yeah. Yangu, yeah. evil prince demon leading the undead forces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prince of Knolls, Lord of Savagery, Beast Butcher, and Prince Beast of, of Butchery. Beast of Butchery? Yeah, Beast of Butchery, um, Demon Prince of Knolls. Demon Prince of Knolls. Okay. When you were giving it to me, I was kind of piecemealing it because I was hearing it. Mm -hmm. I, I had to repeat it a few times because I didn't catch it the first couple times. Okay, there we go. Demon Prince okay. of Knolls, Lord of Savagery, and Beast of Butchery. But that's not the witch. That's just like her no, that's, general. Yeah, that, no, that's who the witch serves. Yeah. Not that yes. my character technically and, knows that. But. And the uh, seer Noel pulls out a seemingly very old book. We were warned of such things, but did not pay attention. And he flips through various pictures and stuff, various of their mythos, mm. then following a man uh, cloaked uh, through a strange and twisting way. And then eventually lands on a woman who physically is very beautiful. Uh, but the picture shows the inner evil of her because instead of being clothed in any sort of clothing, she is clothed in the blood of something. And in the picture, what it shows scattered around her are various bits and pieces of something. Oh. And the eyes you recognize as being the same strange eyes you've noticed on those hyenas. Oh. They probably, okay. look, they probably look a little less strange on an actual human, but... Or, or rather, not on, on a humanoid figure. I don't know if it's human. <laughs> yes. The Skinwalkers. His lieutenants. Those he sends to weaken and break apart ties. They come in a pair. Youngest and eldest. Sisters. Wait, there's more than one of them? Well, the I seer mean, gods. Oh, mm. And they lead an army of skinwalkers. <laughs> kind of. Well, they lead the army of undead. They are unique. Yeah, those those ones are, but there were other hyena things that looks their eyes were at least similar, right? Yeah. Okay. No well, meaning it, it's implied that they were possessing them or controlling them. A whole pack? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Their main thing, and you see the knoll flip through some pages, is they possess humanoids in a specific way. Mm. They go inside. 
They begin gnawing. Oh, okay. Eating. Forcing what they are in to serve them as they clear more and more for their suit. The creature does not die until there's nothing left in them. Typically, things that have been possessed by a skinwalker start acting irrational, going against their normal code. Partially due to pain, partially in the vain hope they think it will stop. So the lawkeeper, that kind of sounds like what's happening to him. Yeah. Yeah. He may not be dead yet, but he is. And he knows on what happens if we kill them mid-transition? Most likely, if you find them out, it will just shed its clothes and either try to run or try to fight. And then find a new host. (laughs) The hope would be to get her out in her normal form and slay her. They had a small army with them. Yes. Any particular weaknesses? None that we know of. But we may be able to bind it in a location, prevent it from leaving, if we gathered the materials. Hmm. What are these Mm. materials? Components, money, allies. We could lure it down below into the tunnels and have it knock on the walls. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, there's a... Don't knock on the walls. Okay... There's a thing that'll come out and eat you. I, I take a few steps away from the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to be careful. If we can is, lure... Is it, is it any wall, or is it just a specific wall? Or It has writing on it. I can show it. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. I... I'm uncomfortable with luring a legion of armed forces into your peaceful home. Yeah, even if it was just the one, it would give our location away if it got away. We would have... That is why we must learn to be hunters. Lure it into a trap. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I'd make good bait. (laughs) easily high quality bait over there most likely it will use the position it's in to ensure that people don't question things but if you were to find someone equal to it they could possibly help you I don't know well the workings of your empire but it's not my empire I pay no allegiance to it. I mean, it's it's hard to be equal when you're dead. (laughs) If we can lure this out, lure this person out, can we defeat the creature? Probably. With some training... And gathering of the things you'll need, you should be ready to face it by the time we spring the trap. Hmm. Training montages well, sound I, great. Yes, I definitely need to rest. Uh, we can certainly provide that. It, I mean, we've technically rested. It's been, like, weeks. <laughs> okay, yeah. that would be good. Yeah, so you're you're healed up. 
Good, good. Yeah, but it's back like, to normal. It's like the early morning right now. The sun isn't hasn't even like fully risen. Though mm. I believe the our leader wanted to show you our information network. The lead moments. That would be useful. Oh, useful for us. I don't know if you are the persuasion to make use of it, but he insisted I show you. Well, okay. If that is all right with you, as he looks across the group. I don't um, see why not. Yes. And he leads you outside. He leads you uh, past the edge of the town. And as the beginnings of the sun fully rise up and the red is on the horizon in the morning, Taco, mm -hmm. you notice a fairly small cactus that has the same color of flowers. Green? Oh. Oh, the same red as the sunrise. Oh, it, it's our uh, Furbolg. Yep, friend from the first session. Well, yours, not mine anymore, because you know, two characters ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the null points at the cactus. I don't know, Taco. Something you didn't tell us? Um. Do you have speak with plants? <laughs> I don't think I do. I don't, yeah, no. But I will detect magic on it. Or, or sorry, divine sense it. And nothing in the list of divine sense pops up. What do I okay. have here? Probably nothing that would help this. Nope. Uh, he no. said you met on a train? Yeah, he was a nice guy. Uh, I don't remember much about him except for he liked good berries. And the color of sunrise? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we didn't get to talk much before all of a sudden, you know, explosions yes. and fire and death. Well, if he wished to be in this form, the Iron Path has uh, done well for him. Mm -hmm. I think he did. I honestly don't remember as player. No, he did. He did. Yeah. Okay. He wanted to be a cactus specifically with the little red flowers that matched either the sunrise or sunset. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I tell them that. <laughs> now, I'm certain you all might want a fresh meal instead of rations. Oh, please. Yeah, but I'm not eating the cactus. Not, not, not the cactus, of course. <laughs> okay. Uh, Technically, we've had fresh food because it's tacos thing that's giving us food. Yeah. But uh -huh. I'm sure that their food is better prepared than just cooking a rabbit over a fire or something. Yeah. It's Kenku. <laughs> no, we have not been eating Kenku. <laughs> no. Uh, the Kenku are cooking, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I mentioned food, and then you said Kenku. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh. A good so meal. Eat. Mm -hmm. You eat, you rest, hours pass. People talk to you, people thank you. No, oh, yeah. Don't thank me. I really didn't do anything. Thank, thank them. Uh, the sun begins to etch towards noon, and the leader of the gnolls walks towards your group. Uh, the shaman uh, wishes to speak with you. Follow me, if that is all right with you. Yes, gladly. I mean, yeah. 
and he leads you up the steps of the mountainside, not actually into the mine. Hmm. There's eventually like a solid kind of like plateau like area where you see the shaman and he has been like preparing. It looks like some sort of like ritualistic thing. Hmm. Cautious not to uh, interrupt his ritual, but curious. Stand up. Stand up here, all of you. Okay. You may not have yes. sent out to do such a thing. But at the moment... The threads tell me that heroes you will be or heroes you will fall. Hmm. All groups of heroes need a name. Hmm. So we gotta come up with like a team name or something? And then he reaches down and it looks like some sort of paint he mixed. And he first walks up to Taco. And he puts some across your brow, like, you know, Simba style. Simba. Yeah. <laughs> the walker of all... Yeah. The walker of all roads. The walker of what? Of all roads. Yeah! He goes to Kritmir. The Mountain of Steel. Mm. Goes to Flash. The Smith Ever Forging. Mm. He goes to Tim and does the same thing. The Broker. <laughs> the Dealer. <laughs> And then he turns and raises his hands. The spirits of our people shall listen. Raven, coyote, snake. The forgotten ones. Every other that has been praised from now unto the beginning of our time in your world. At this point, you see actually... <laughs> uh, the, an eclipse start to happen. And the sky darkens with a shiver, with a cold chill. That's cool. And then he turns. Tell the desert your names, heroes. The name that binds you all. Wait, what? <laughs> Are we supposed He's to asking. choose a party name? You, you can we, we can say that you chose it at a certain uh, at a later date if you want to, but essentially this is like the moment. Yeah. I mean, does uh, anybody have any ideas? Um, this is like the epitaph moment. What? while the sun is blackened out and I'm missing it. Hmm. <laughs> I, 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 we could I mean, be called wild cards, but I'm not sure that completely fits. <laughs> um, I was thinking, like, you know, the unchained. The what? The unchained. The unchained? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, it's kind of cool, kind of ambiguous. What are they unchained from? I heard they're unchained from the from, from the realm of, of uh, the undead. No, I heard they're unchained from yeah. death itself. They can't die. <laughs> exactly. I hear whenever they die, they come back as iron giants. Well, that's we not impossible. <laughs> he 
Yeah, it's up to you a lot. You, I, I if do you like guys Unchained. Are having... <laughs> it is. That's a fun one. I like it. All right. So the majority Cold. says Unchained. Unchained. Yep. Isaac right. doesn't get a vote. <laughs> well, I mean, three of us said yes. Sorry. So. <laughs> uh, all right. Let me add it as a folder. Because that will actually do something next time we go. Um. <laughs> It's funny because I'm watching a, another campaign on YouTube and they're called The Chain. So, <laughs> <laughs> Michael knows what I'm talking about. Yep. Except their full name is what? The Chain of Acheron? Yeah. And so you all feel at once this name bubble in your head and you say it all aloud at the same singular moment and it echo across the... Play, the basically the entirety of the desert in front of you <laughs> as the moon moves away from the sun and the light starts once more and so you shall be oh see that that works even better with it being called the chains of doran and we're the unchained that's right i didn't even think about that wow. until i started looking at the hmm <laughs> I mean, and you just broke from jail, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> no chains can hold me. We all have rings of free movement, Michael. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> that That's fine, because grappling is not as bad in 5e. Fair. But that would be funny if you did. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I think I'm going to take that note to go try to get, find some food real quick. All right. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to keep going, but I'm going to be looking at... Uh, I might have maybe a little bit more time. i got to go check with uh, Sammy. I'm here, by the way. Tim! Hey. <laughs> Tim, Tim. <laughs> You sound totally awake. I've been dealing with a massive headache most of the day, so I'm, I'm making it. <laughs> yep. Give him 25 minutes. He just, I just gave him some Excedrin. Mm. Hey, when you get a massive headache. Oh, yeah. So, Dad was saying something about... I was getting dragged off by a guard or a knight or something. Uh, you, you were arrested. You, you were arrested oh. for being creepy. Uh, <laughs> be, mainly just to the fact they couldn't tell what you were and you had a very freaky looking face mask on. In a like a noble town or something? Or where, where, where were it, we? It was Purebrook because uh, they rode up to originally arrest Taco. And then they looked a bit more at your uh, face mask, and it looked very odd. They couldn't tell what you were. So just to be on the safe side, they threw you in there with them. <laughs> Wait, what did they, did they take anything out of my possessions, or did I no. get them all back? You got very all good. your stuff back, yeah. Because if they would have searched through my possessions, they would have found two arms. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, they probably did, and then they noped out of your possessions. Because that's what True. happened to Taco. They're like, oh, a vampire head. Nope, I'm good. Leave it. Yep. You can have it stuck. Yeah, we're we're gonna. Yeah, their whole plan was to like execute you, but then you got jail broken. So, Jesus, they really don't take kindly to random folk. Okay. Well, I mean, you what? were just locked in with the person they wanted to kill, so they were just gonna kill you too. Jeez. All right. You know, it would be economically efficient. Yeah. I suppose. <laughs> Also, uh, my well, character also you had are, arms on yeah. you, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like and a face. Yeah, if a police officer like opens up your trunk and finds a chopped up bed, dead body. They're like, yeah, we're gonna have to take you in. 
It's a mannequin, I swear. <laughs> I just bought this car. Um... <laughs> uh, oh, by the way, my character is a gray half work with uh, green hair. Is it an okay. afro? No, I was thinking more of a uh, spiked. Look. Okay. <laughs> Yep, but you guys are safe and back at your little fledgling town, which is less fledgling now because there's a crap ton of gnolls in it that are your friends. There's gnolls, there's Kenku. They better be careful around Taco. Animalistic mm -hmm. things tend to die. Mm hmm And so it is up to you, Law, what you want to do. Oh, yeah, we, oh. Our, our party is named The Unchained now, also. Yes. We have officially named ourselves in the middle of a solar eclipse. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Not sure if good omen or bad omen. Yep. Cue the thematic music. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, okay. At that yeah, point, sure. the orchestra yeah, that's always yeah. At that point, when that happened, the orchestra that always follows you around like picked up. You know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, we're not in Monty Python movies. The, the little white guy on my shoulder is just being like, nah. Uh, I'm getting some echo. Mm. Yeah, I hear it. Testing. Let's see here. Okay, testing again. Echo? It's it's not bad. Okay. No. We might have to close doors. Possibly. Technology. Okay. We are Yeah, your guys' microphone seems really sensitive for some reason. Yeah. I mean, mine is, but that's because I'm using like an actual desktop microphone, not my computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are here in the desert. We just, Tim, we just ran away from Sin Trail. That's where the bad guy is that we found out could be possessed by some witch. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what did we do? We, we found him or just found information of him? We were in Purebrook and you and Taco were taken by the lawful guy and his 20 soldier horde to and travel to Pen to Sin Trail. There was a standstorm outside the city, and we broke you out of your jail wagon, and we hoofed it back to our village. Okay. And then the gnolls are building a, a better town here to live in, and they told us that the evil demigod thing and the witch tends to take over humanoid hosts and ch eat them alive. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> there was a creature, was it in 4 -E? You were talking about this yesterday, Michael. There was an actual uh, yeah. creature that did that. Uh, this is slightly different than this. Yeah, that. It's slightly she different. Has an, yeah, she has, the witch has a natural form. Right. But uh, effectively, it's the, the uh, worm thing that would eat you from the inside out and then mm -hmm. mimic your actions to try to draw more people in. It's just a modified oh, version of that. Oh, oh no. Oh yeah, it's modified in the sense that uh, it uses the fact that it's eating them from the inside to make them follow her lead. Yeah. And they're alive the entire time. Yeah. Up until she finishes. Oh jeez. Okay. Yeah. They are Since... very much evil. If you see one, there's no there's no moral quadri. It's kill it. Okay. So no right, wonder those religion rules did really good. <laughs> that skill challenge. 
<laughs> yeah. So we're rested up, and we might be able to lay a trap for said evil if we can get it away from its uh, soldier horde. Yeah, there were uh, about 20 of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, following. And then he really wants a piece of taco, so we can... You know, lure taco out there. Get I mean, your taco I, here. I, Get I, fresh taco. I was about to say I could cook some up. <laughs> uh, but where do we want to go is the question. Well, we last saw them in Centrail. Yes. Uh, and they were heading... Well... They were heading out to execute, so they weren't necessarily heading northeast. Yeah. But if we if we want to pick up their trail, I guess we'll have to do some sim. Mm-hmm. Which would and be... This... Yeah, no, the town's name is actually Sin Trail, so it's right here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was why I made the pun. <laughs> <laughs> I have no problem going as long as we're prepared to trap said evil beast um were there things we needed to gather uh the shaman did make note that they could prep something so it wouldn't basically just bugger off okay is is that ready or is that going to take some time they will need uh, materials gathered for it okay essentially uh, maybe we'll go material gathering then Absolutely. What can I carry? Well, it's a variety of typically what you'd expect for something like that. Some plants and the like. But it does require a piece of a creature. Because most things like that require that sort of thing. Huh. What pieces may we need? Let me look real quick for you. Nern root. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we gave that quest to someone else. Okay, that's right. <laughs> Back in All Saints. The city of all mm -hmm. Saints. We, we gave someone a quest to find uh, glowing herbs, so Nern root. Uh, am I actually at one H, or is that? No, you're fully uh, you healed. Should... Uh, your constitution's back to normal as well. Okay. We are rested. Yeah, you should also be back to your normal maximum HP. And oh, which was... Dice. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, your HP. I wrote that down somewhere. Your max HP. Uh, 31. Oh, yeah, and hit dice are all back, too. Definitely. With the amount of time yeah. we've been traveling. <laughs> Suck being back at 17 all without remembering. <laughs> okay. Hit dice. You should have hit dice equal to your level. So we're level 5? Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Okay. Okay. Keep looking. Is there any reason for us to go to the land of the 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 land of the form, formerly owned by the centaurs? <laughs> If you want to. Well, I mean, like, is, is there a reason to? Because I, I can get free ship's passage. Uh, well, it would be your best sh a bet to find uh, a good a bit of these, basically, plants untouched. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, and it also requires the Eye of a Fomorian. Hmm. Huh. 
Sorry, I, when when I think Fomorian, I don't think the uh, creature from Five E. I think the uh, oh the Fomorian gods. <laughs> so. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, the Fomorians and Pybe are still difficult to kill. I'm just, the first thought I have is the Fomorian gods, like, oh, Baylor of the Evil Eye? I'm just reading through the new added stuff. Yeah. That's why it is. It's magic. Oh, what did we do with crow's items? Did we do anything with them yet? No, I think Taco is just carrying them. Okay, that, that's fine for now. I mean, the only really important thing was the lover's chain. But you can just hold on to it for now. Mm -hmm. Reminder of the uh, turtles. <laughs> The worm tongue pack is pretty. That's pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Change> <laughs> <again>, will you? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> or I don't even know that you changed the first time. It, it was hinted it's at. True. And now you will never know because my ring will not allow you to know. What? You can't <laughs> tell my alignment. <laughs> Well, so see, your alignment usually is evil if you're a warlock, but you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, there's no like holy warlocks like. Oh, there are I mean, holy warlocks. You warlock. can, but it's it it doesn't fit the flavor of the class usually. Well, there's uh, like warlocks of the archfey and stuff, which are not evil, but they don't necessarily they're not necessarily good. But then there's like angelic warlocks and stuff. A warlock is okay. you yeah you put name down. A more powerful thing to give you power. Yeah, I'm just saying, like the basic flavor of the of the class is you're tied to some evil entity, usually, or or at least Fair enough. Yeah, because if you wanted to go for the lawful good, it would be more of paladin because they have a lot of right. They they yeah. pack to like I mean, more you of can the lawful. Technically, gods. be a warlock that's lawful good, but it yeah, could it, yeah, you know. A warlock can be anything. They tend towards more chaotic because those are the things more likely to make packs. Yeah. But that isn't necessarily the end all be all. Now I'm looking at what I get at higher levels. Next level, I can stoke the flame, so that's nice. Mm hmm. <sighs> I get um, creature points, so I will bump up two items and get my bonus ups, which will be really good. Mm -hmm. What did base monks get at level 6? I was just looking at my subclass. Um, yeah, so it's up to you all what you want to do. Okay. So I personally want to be prepared to fight this evil witch. Right. And it sounds like the best place to get the stuff would be over here where it says Rip Centaurs. Okay, yeah. so we need we need to to go gather materials. Yeah. Yes. Uh I, Absolutely. I'm, I was a sailor, so I can get us a passage if we need it. Ooh. It'd be shorter to go along the sea than along the shore. Ah, uh, useful. Useful. Absolutely. Now, do you have you been to this distant land before? Uh, 
Uh, Who are you asking? Or... I don't like. Uh, I was on a salvage ship mostly, so we didn't make landfall except like in ports. So not really. Yeah. Uh, well, technically, uh, Chris, your guy was a soldier. You might have been there. Mm-hmm. Uh because the reason why the centaurs are gone is the empire came in to show how good and nice they were to basically settle the issue of the centaur tribes coming out Mongolian horde style and attacking people, which ended up basically going poorly. And they basically went from trying to subdue them to wiping them out. Ooh, uh, that could be one of the reasons why I didn't stay in the army seeing the needless slaughter of innocents. Yeah. Mm. By the way, um, where are we at currently in our group? Where, like, where, like where, 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 where it says at the party. Oh, there it is. I was like scrolling around on the map trying to find it. Yeah. Okay, so we, are we, oh, we're in a small town. Yeah, yeah we're... Town uh... you, you guys start populating, got attacked, and now it's back better than ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's growing, doing well. There's a farm over so, yes. there with the seeds that you guys brought back. Mm -hmm. So, who would I have to convince to sew these onto me? <laughs> and I'll pull out my my arms. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that with a 39 and a half foot pole. I, I uh, want the power. <laughs> I'm going to walk silly. away from... It won't Dude. necessarily give you, like, power, but... It might creep people out. <laughs> um, we can definitely put that as something when, like, the place actually gets up and running as a uh, stronghold of you all, you all to actually have that happen to you if you guys get a surgeon willing to do it. <laughs> all right. Is there somewhere... I mean, will they decay? Or if I keep them in my bag this entire time? Like... Or will they, are they magical? I think they're uh, Technically, they would decay, but for reasons because I want to see where this goes, <laughs> they won't. <laughs> you, you, just put right. a, you just put a lot of salt with them, and they're fine. You wrap yeah. them up with linens. You have jerky arms. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, jerky would be leaving out to dry. This is true. So wait, well, so that means my the extra yeah. face that I have doesn't dry because it's attached to me, right? Like, yeah, you're no, no, mummifying these arms. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just imagine grappling somebody with four arms. <laughs> just, I don't know, wait, would that change? No, that's a strength modifier, isn't it? Yeah, it would probably give you a boost to strength or something, but that's just... Okay. Wow. A grapple okay. check is yeah. athletics, so it would, in fact, oh, increase okay. your grapple. <laughs> <laughs> forearm grapple mm -hmm. just <laughs> wow okay <laughs> well I'm I am going to walk away from this and um we need to gather materials I need to slay this evil that is threatening our friends mm-hmm Oh no, it's stuck on loading. Why? Uh, I hate when it does this. I'm trying to look. Oh, there it goes. It loaded now. Okay. Are there in? Is, is there anyone in town who might know about uh, any of the items the or whatever the great te great god teachers of the Iron Path left behind? Um, roll me. Uh, investigation. Yeah, uh, I mean, I will. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I have one in that, <laughs> but that's great. I got a 21, um, guys. There are many that they've left behind. Is there a particular one you are looking for? I don't know, because all the information I have is that they have them. They left a variety of weapons that do things beyond what normal weapons are able to. Yeah. Uh, one is rumored to be a large sword, but light as a feather. Mm. Uh, 
the greatest find one could find would be the uh, weapons wielded by Rohan. Right. Uh, any monk-style weapons? Basically, the magical part about all these weapons is that they're all they all become monk weapons. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, uh, any lead on any of them would be good then. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, <laughs> I I don't care what I'm wielding as long as it's a monk weapon, because <laughs> because that allows me to get my unarmed strikes in. Mm-hmm. Um. Do you want to like go for gold, or do you just want any? I mean, I I like. I mean, I rolled really good, so anything that's really good <laughs> would be nice. I just don't know what <laughs> specifics there are of them. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, you have it, and I will have to find out exactly where that where they are hidden. Yeah. I assume I just have and... the location of one rather than a whole bunch of them. <laughs> yeah, you have the location <laughs> of one. Okay. I mean, I currently wield a quarter staff, but if they become monk weapons, I really don't care what it is. <laughs> so, as long as it's not cursed or something stupid. Uh, none of them are cursed. I would hope not. Cursed to give you strength. It's just, yeah, it's just there. There's a trial to. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Get them basically. That's fine. As long, as, I mean, I would prefer trials of you know strength over trials of uh, the mind, but. <laughs> yeah. So, is there any like uh, abilities or classes that gain benefit from using cursed items? Or? Cursed? No. no. No, they're just ultimately bad, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, no, they're just bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I I could see somebody homebrewing something that if they have a cursed item, then they get bonuses, but they still get the curse. So, you know, it, it's never a good trade-off. Fair um, enough. Well, I mean, I'm thinking like the, you know, like the card that I found that is technically a curse. So, if I, you know, if you had something of great power that was always cursed... And like you figure out a way to work around it or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's just yeah. called removing the curse from the item. That's yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Okay, it's so not like the old fashioned use... Fallout junkie <laughs> items. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them you could technically like purify the item. Yeah, some of them you can purify the item and then you just have the magic item without the curse. All right. Like uh, a certain quarter staff that a certain uh, character has in another game, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> which I uh, updated the text to be correct because I was just on the fly. Like I think I remember doing this with it, but no, oh, yeah. it was different. <laughs> so I will have that ready for next time. Just to let you know. All right, that's good. To the old land, land of the centers. Wagons East. Mm -hmm. uh, it's only a few days travel. You make it to the docks. You have the sailor thing so you can get passage. Right. We're expected to work, guys. So don't slack yeah. off. Otherwise, we'll probably be thrown over. Oh, sounds good. I'll always work. That was more directed at Tim than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my fingers and curl the face flabs of my, my fake mask to a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to creep out the crew. <laughs> and then three days into the thing, they yell, Wish, <laughs> you see Tim flying off the side. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, but actually a day in so you are on the sea All right. could someone roll me a d100 
Yeah, I'll do it. I got us on this ship. I got us on this ship, and I'll get us off this ship. Ooh, with a seven. All I'm right. Which direction your rolls go, so that could either be good or bad. <laughs> Well, well, that answers that question, guys. That answers that question, uh, yeah. Uh, let yeah. me switch my seat. Um, needy friend is not there. He he's very much dead. Oh, this uh, that's me, by the way. Shadow man. There weren't any good half work tokens, so I just went with a ninja. Mm-hmm. Taco is leaning, is looking out on the side of the ship, looking out to the horizon. Are, are you sure he's not? Well, nobody made constitution checks, though, so never mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and then a kraken sweeps him off the deck. Yes, Franken. And then a kraken. What? <laughs> Money. I heard it was pronounced Kraken. With a hard A. Yeah. Nobody says Kraken. <laughs> mm -hmm. As a gust of wind blows upon the deck and takes form. All right. Oh. Oh, that's a cool token. Mm hmm I know. Actually, a decent token. I mean, it looks like it has a smiley face in the middle of it, but other than that... <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we... And uh, like all of you, once I get the tracker up, yeah. to okay. roll me initiative. Select my token, <laughs> go to the pop out. I wasn't sure if it was hostile for a second. Like, we're just sitting here, like, oh. <laughs> initiative. Hmm. Well, hmm. the warlock's going first. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. And then okay. the air elemental? Yeah. Uh, oh, you guys great. could have... <laughs> this, this represents the deck of the ship, so... Yeah. But... Wherever you guys would have been. Hmm. Please someone say the rigging. I want that for no particular reason. Um. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I probably would have been though. The, the, so, the seven foot guy would not be climbing to the crow's nest. I, I mean, I was probably doing something on the rigging because I'm a sailor. So yeah, I don't. Maybe I was working on a sail or something was stuck or something up there. I don't know. Yeah, you're, you're, this isn't a, like an extremely large ship, so like like twenty, maybe thirty feet in the air. Okay, that's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it isn't like a ginormous ship where you'd be like fifty or sixty. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, it's it's really not bad at all for me, but anybody else, it could be a problem. Okay, so wait, I'm going first then. Yep. I'll just right, put something on me that means I'm in the air somewhere. Very easy. Lick the air elemental. <laughs> Wait, let me check. Yeah, I'm flying. That, that's what that means. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I'm not actually flying, but you know. All right, so I'll go ahead and use. Uh... Wait, oh, I, I gotta check. Where's cone? Well, oh, it. Oh, that's right. There is no cone. Fifteen. It's fi oh. It's that, in the cone. That doesn't hit. It is in the cone. Uh, it's it's yeah, taking it up four squares. It's yeah, four it, squares. Yeah. So you like yeah, you hit it with the edge of the cone. Okay, 
So you're coming it doesn't take any bonus like, damage. Uh, yeah. You could do this with it. Just drawing it real quick. Either way, it'd be in the combo. Okay. You know, you okay. So it doesn't take like more damage the more it's in it or whatever. So that's no, it doesn't take damage. Good. Right now. Okay. So as long as I'm touching it. So I'll go ahead and use burning hands on it. All right. Oof. Yeah, Wait, that's a deck save. Deck save? Yeah, burning hands is the deck save. Oh, I Jesus. I believe it fails. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, because your charisma is a five, and then you get your proficiency bonus at plus eight. <laughs> Yeah, that is a, yeah, that is a Which deck. is like a 16. Oh. Yeah, so the wind, <laughs> the fire hits this body of wind, damaging it slightly before being blown out. All right. Uh, and I've already moved, I think. That, wait. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else. So, yeah. It is me, then. And it's, it's turn. Oh so, God! So, question, really quick: If something's a reaction, can I do it as a bonus action, like slow fall? Because reaction is technically not on your turn. Um. Or do I get one reaction for the turn, including on my turn? I think the latter of the two. Okay. Because yeah. Yeah, it's going to go into the Spelly Man space uh, and is going to have fun with the Spelly Man because it's going to ask the Spelly Man to make a DC uh, 13 strength saving throw. All right, 13. Wait, what saving throw? You said strength? Or... Strength. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, normal. Oh, you're good. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. you succeed. Uh, it's surprising. <laughs> <laughs> I have a zero for my strength modifier. <laughs> so how high up am I? As it turns itself into a giant whirlwind, you're like 20, maybe 30 feet up in the air. <laughs> okay, because I, I'm reduce. I can reduce the damage by five times my monk level, so that's twenty five. So I wouldn't take any damage. Okay. Yeah, as it turns itself into a giant whirlwind and tries to fling you, but it does not. Uh, Mr. Monk. Uh, I jump off the rigging. Uh, does that use my movement when I fall, or is that only when I? No, falling's instantaneous unless it's extremely long distances. Yeah. Okay. So. Then I walk over to it, and I'm going to first... Do you walk over here? What? Uh-huh. No, because Tim's right here anyways. Tim's inside this mess. It's <laughs> in his square. It, he isn't flanking it. Okay. How is it in his square? It's Is that part of the of ability? Error. It... It can be in people's squares. Okay, that that's all. Like, because if yeah, just in that case, yes, I'll I'll move. Yeah, I'll just be weird it's, and I'll move here because it's still advantage. Because <laughs> uh, it's it's made of error. Uh, uh, gripping my core staff in two hands. Move through a space as narrow one inch wide without squeezing. Hmm. Hmm. The more you know. The more you know. Yeah. So get error of until to. Uh, you know, that does. You have the coins underneath your couch because it can just go. Uh, four without any, you know, reference to the fact mm -hmm. that it's made of air. Um, what can I do with my bonus action here? I'm going to do two unarmed, unarmed strikes with my key. All right. Uh, both with advantage, of course. Yep. That misses. Oh, does it? It queries again if you hit up. That's annoying. That, that hits. hits. I'm not even going to ask on that one. That is also bludgeoning. I don't know why that doesn't say it's uh, And your fists are considered magical at this point, right? 
I believe that's something I have to. to let me let me double check. Is it at this level? Where stunning strike you can interfere with the key with a one monk weapon attack. You can attempt to stun, attempt to stun oh. and strike. No, that's next level. Yeah, that's next level. Uh, I can stun and strike though. I can uh, make a con save. I'm going to spend a key point for that. Uh, that doesn't require anything, right? Uh, you make a con save. The creature makes a con save. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do anything else uh, from your thing, Wujig? What? I, I used Just my action. I used my of... bonus action. To flurry of blows, yeah. Yeah, I'm making uh, you do. Uh, hold on. What what is my save for that? That is my wisdom modifier is two. My... Thirteen. Oh, you passed. Dang it. You're not stunned. Is there anything else I can do? Uh, it. Yeah. When. Uh. Yeah, the effect is when you do a flurry of blows, that happens just automatically. Which one is it? Riddle the seal. Oh, there it is. Sorry, I had to find it because I have I'd, I've never done combat with a monk in the first place. So. Yeah. He so has, has to make. To make it... Oh, so another Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Again, at the same DC, Dang but it, it succeeds. Uh... Okay. So I can just make it make a whole bunch of con saves, apparently. Uh, eventually, it's going to fail. Uh, and it's Krishmir's to go. I look at this. I do not know what to call this monstrosity before me, and I swing with my greatsword. Oh, with advantage. Yep. Yep. And I will have to roll again. Give me a sec. I have another roll. Oh, that's right. Yep. Roll 1d20. Okay. That's plus 8. That's a oh. crit as well, isn't it? Because you're a champion. Oh, it's 19, yeah. Yes, 19 is, it? It's so, 19 is a crit. It is a crit. So I get two of these swings. There's one. There's two. Uh, your strength modifier is four, right? Um, yes. Yeah, and the, it's plus one for the magical, so minus five from the second one. It only doubles the dice. So four. Yeah, so 17 points of slashing in total. One hit. <laughs> yeah, that, that's nothing to scoff at. <laughs> So Tim's not grappled or anything, so he can move out, right? Yeah, he can move out. It isn't holding him, it's just... I can't move out of its range, otherwise it attack of opportunity, but I can No, move. but I mean, you can move here for advantage mm -hmm. in LA, well, or here... Well, has another attack. Oh, right. Yeah, right. yes, right. I have two swings. I forget. Swing yeah. again. Ad with advantage. Oh, already oh, credited. Yeah, don't worry about yeah. it. Just, just don't roll, worry about it, just quit. The damage. Yeah. There we go. 15 more points of slashing. <laughs> Which I'm assuming isn't doing that great because it's air. Uh, it's doing fairly well and you see the gleam of the magic off of Krishmir's blade. Ah, uh, yes. My fists aren't doing very well, though. Yes. As this thing realizes that maybe the magic guy isn't the biggest thing he should be worrying about. <laughs> the the half-elf. Uh, Skinny half elf that cast one yeah. thing at it versus well he doesn't know you're a half elf. <laughs> oh yeah, it was just trying to fling the little squishy guy as far as it could away. Yeah, a meat and... man. <laughs> yes. And what is that all you do, or? That is all I do. All right. Yeah. So just just join one of us, Tim, and then you'll have advantage. Join oh, yeah. uh... measurements. All right, stand right there. I am providing advantage for all. <laughs> don't die. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I do have a penchant for doing that, don't I? 
Mm -hmm. Just a weird thing. If you if you uh, use a ranged spell attack, it's regular instead of disadvantage because you have advantage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not that I would recommend that. I would recommend melee, but yeah. So um, I could I could swing twice with a dagger, right? As long as you have two so... daggers. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, you I have, have pursuit. Two. Yeah, pursuit and a dagger. So yeah. I'll hit with pursuit first, and it's a. Advantage roll? Yeah. Okay. That misses. Rip. Totally had an innate spell you could grab, too. You know, one of these days is going to be like a thing like it's going to happen. That hits. The second dagger does hit. Okay. And it doesn't get the... Well, you don't have one anyways. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, so... You poke it, it looks at you like the hell man. <laughs> As like, it takes one point of piercing damage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I'm guessing that's all you do? No, uh, that's all that I can't do. Yeah, that was his action and his bonus action. Mm -hmm. I do have... I believe I can yeah. react of the text. Yeah, you... yeah it, does not, it does not get its happy fun time thing. It's going to try to pummel this very bad Goliath. <laughs> it it's not gonna pummel this bad Goliath. This is twenty no. uh, <laughs> yes. The first wind breaks and the second one breaks through. <laughs> yeah. As it deals fourteen points of bludgeoning. Hmm. As it goes uh... Hulk smash, because Hulk doesn't like being hit very hard. <laughs> of course not. That's I a will giant take green bruise all over its body. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't want to move because bad things happens if it tries to move. I so mean, it, it can move one square either up or down, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, I will. I uh, hit it with my quarter staff again. All right. That hits. Uh, I will use the key now for the uh, trying to stun it. All right. It is also bloodied, by the way. Okay. Well, it makes a con save. It fails. All right. Let me see here. It is stunned until the end of my next turn. So it can't take any actions or move. Mm-hmm. Um, we already have advantage, so I don't want to, I don't care to check if it gives us advantage or not. Uh, but I'm going to. It all, yeah, it also fails strength and dex saving throws. Right. I'm just gonna flurry of blows again. Mm -hmm. nope. That hits. It also can't take actions or reactions, so... Well, I knew it couldn't take actions. Uh, there we go, that's a crit. Yeah, so that is... And if it's 13. still alive, I, it needs to make a con saving throw. It needs to make two. When you do a flurry of blows, each enemy hit has to... No, it's just one according to the way you wrote it. Oh, yeah. it's Yeah, it's one. Uh, it fails, so it's maximum uh... HP. Maximum hit points reduced by half my monk, monk level, so by two. Yeah. It's great at higher levels. Right now it's kind of eh. Yeah, it's also good if something has like a bunch of healing. Yes. Like a certain thing that killed my previous character. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, but that's all I can do. Yeah. Uh, your turn, Crit Mirror. What happens? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I am yeah. bad. It's going to take, and then, and then I will swing one more time. Okay. I'm assuming that's a hit. Yeah. Either of those was a hit. Takes okay. nine points of slashing. And I get a swing again. It is very badly hurt. Okay, oh, you well, that's a crit. That is oh. 21... 
It Ooh, is ten points. Ooh. It is barely hanging on by a thread here. Quick. Snip the Tim, thread. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> All right. Um should we just stab it twice? <laughs> or I mean I get it with a spell, but uh, I don't think I have a you could you could also literally just move back and shoot it with a range spell if you want. Oh, true. Well, well Wait, I, I would if take you're standing right attack. there. You wouldn't have disadvantage uh, you because you have uh, no. It's ranged. Never mind. Well, it can't take attacks off you right now because it got stunned by the. Oh, right. Yes, it is stunned. Perfect. Yeah, that's true. Perfect. I'll move. Well, yeah. So wait, I should probably move there. It really doesn't is matter. That... Okay. Okay. If I'm pointing just directly. Okay. Which is funny because that's one of the uh, condition immunities is not immune to. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, it's not immune to sun. It's but it's to, made like, of air. Her- whatever. Go question it. I I'm I'm gonna question it, but I'm gonna be fine with it not. Okay. Uh, hellish rebuke is that the? That's a reaction. Yeah. So, oh, elders blast is the one that's yeah. not a reaction. That's right. I'm gonna yeah. hit it with elders blast then. Bla- blast. Blast. Uh, that's advantage because I'm yeah that way. Uh, no, he it's has not advantage because it's stunned. Oh, because it's stunned, you do okay. Yep. Okay. It hits, and it's force damage, so it's just probably just gonna kill it. Ooh. It <laughs> almost burn. dies. No. Oh, it has literally no. enough HP. <laughs> well, thankfully, oh, it skips over its turn because it's stunned until the end of my turn. Oh. It or the beginning the of my life. turn. One of those. Whole like mumble thing of like yeah until the end of my turn. (laughs) So uh, just going to uh, smack at it since it can't do anything. Uh, that's here's the thing. Unless unless it could do something, which doesn't make sense. Um, Eldritch Blast uh, at fifth level, you make two attacks with it for two different things. I believe I'm only at. Third level. No, we're at fifth right? level. I'm at fifth level. Yeah, your spells are at uh, third level. Your characters. Are oh, fifth. oh, that's right. Okay, so wait. So do I make a second attack with it? Yeah, you or make no? another Eldritch Blast. Yeah, because basically Eldritch oh. Blast upgrades when you reach certain levels. So do I roll the Eldritch Blast itself? Yeah, again? the attack again. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. I didn't even read that in the. Uh, the spell creates one more beam when you reach higher levels. Two beams at fifth, three at eleventh, four at seventeenth. You can direct the beams at the same target or different ones. Make a separate attack roll for each beam. Okay. So, wow, yeah. I've never noticed that before. Oof. <laughs> and, and oh, okay, you did yeah. kill it. Then. Yeah. So he did kill it. <laughs> where it's like I live, and then the second one comes through the gut. <laughs> I'm still like. <laughs> yeah. No. As it falls and dissipates, like a summer's breeze. For some reason, I just thought it got more damage dice, but no, it actually gets more darts. It's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Does it, uh, final level, it's up to three, right? Or no? Uh, no, at 17th level, it goes to four. Yeah, it's uh, it's three at 11th level and four at 17th. Make okay. separate attack roll for each beam, even if it's hitting the same target. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, and that day passes out eventually besides that as the crew watch in awe is basically this living uh, thing of air just waltzes in and gets wrecked <laughs> okay so we're it's over really stabbed there. badly there we are And then just before you reach land, could you roll me another D100? Anyone else want to do this one? Got it. Hmm. Oh, no's. Hmm. What happens now, Michael? (laughs) It goes uneventfully this time. Uh, (laughs) I, 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 I was... For some reason, my mind immediately went to Aquatic Tarrasque, but that would be terrifying. 
Well, the thing is, you have to remember, things are bigger and more deadlier in the ocean. <laughs> so an aquatic Tarrasque is just the continent. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I was thinking, like, basically just a Tarrasque that has the template of aquatic. Yeah. Like an aquatic they drop. They drop you off at the land. They're like, we have to head back. Do you want us to come back for you at any particular time if we're able? Uh... I mean, we don't know how long we're going to take, do we? Unknown. Uh, we have tasks to complete. It would be good to have a ship back. I don't want to walk. Well, I mean, we can always go up to... Uh... What is the name of that town? Uh, Crimson Downs. Crimson Downs, and then get passage from a port near there, because I just get free passage. Mm -hmm. That overlaps really yeah. weird over the hex numbers, so I can't tell what the middle of that says. Yeah. We'll wing it. Good I mean, luck. As long as there's ships, I can technically just... I'll give the captain a little bit of a tickle on the shoulder. And then walk away What's without saying anything. Looks at you, questions uh, the questions if it's all right to burn the evil Petchy witch. Decides <laughs> that it's probably not worth his time. Uh, Captain, I, I I know we're we're only like acquaintances. I Please I just joined don't this bring group. him on the ship again. I I didn't want to bring him on the ship in the first place, but he's part of the party I joined, so I kind of didn't have the choice. <laughs> I'm worried about the company you keep. And you think I'm not? I never <laughs> would suggest that you weren't. <laughs> All right, but you are now in the former land of the centaurs. Hmm. We're supposed to find the eye of a creature and some... Yeah, you have to kill a Fomorian to take its eye. Well, who wants to go yeah. on God Sling? I mean, I mean, uh, Giant Sling. <laughs> uh, we also Goodbye. regained all our stuff because it's been days. Yeah. Yes. Oh, good, good. I am healed. I got my key back. Yeah. Now you can open your up your lockbox. Wait, wrong key. Yeah. No, I'm not a shadow monk. Okay. How do we go searching for the Eye of Newt? Uh, <laughs> you'd have to find the creature the eye is connected to. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody good at survival? Hmm. No, I can't turn. survive, but I, mean, I keep myself alive. Who has a decent wisdom score? I have a five in survival. Oh, plus okay. five. So you have proficiency then. That's yeah. I'm pretty sure you're the only one other than the Outlander who's... Uh, Taco doesn't has a zero to a survival check. What? <laughs> what? How is he finding us food? Whatever. I thought he got it from his background. Let me double check that. He might have it from his background. He might, but he didn't mark it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Outlanders have survival. But I think... Uh, uh... Isaacs is still higher. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me just check this because I'm ninety five percent sure he has that from Outlander. No, he gets athletics and survival. Yeah, survival. Yeah, he has it. If his athletics isn't marked yet, he also has that. Uh so he will aid the uh creepy man in his survival check. Running around licking dirt. And just looking back. Roll me, roll me a constitution dirt. saving throw. Yeah. A, uh, what? Constitution saving throw. You're licking dirt. Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> Survival. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> constitution saving. Uh, normal roll or advantage roll? Normal. Okay. Yeah, this isn't for the uh, looking around thing. This is because you ate dirt. <laughs> yeah, this is because you ate dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you're fine. Yeah, make the survival <laughs> advantage now, please. 
Yeah, <laughs> okay. the survival advantage. All right. At first, uh, there seems to be nothing, and then you notice why there's a lack of nothing, because you see basically giant footprints, uh, some dead, deformed creatures as well. Well, now that you've pointed the tracks out, they're kind of hard to miss. Let's go. Uh, I thought that was just like a dip in the ground, but it's a footprint. Hmm. hmm. Okay, and what are these these dead creatures that we are walking past? Um, various, like, natural wildlife. Uh, some cow, some elk and deer. If I click yeah. on the cow, does it explode? <laughs> I'll roll me a dexterity saving throw. Um, <laughs> Don't. Okay. I'll take that as a no. No. Um, Wait, can, I re- can I read the cow's thought? It's dead. It's dead. Oh, it's dead cow. I, I was oh, making it, the it a Diablo dead. joke. Fair enough. <laughs> it, it is very dead cow. Uh, you assume like some of these cows were here because like a uh, ship crashed nearby, or they just dumped them in hopes of like getting another thing and then coming back for the cows, and then something bad befell the thing. But there's a variety of elk and other wild herbivores. You catch the sight of a bear once. I would make pelts if I had the time, but we are on a quest to slay a monster. <sighs> yes, and you track it along deep into the lands, into a heavily forested area. Ooh, deep jungle. Mm-hmm. Suddenly I have a machete, and I'm wearing a uh, safari hat. And you're wearing a safari hat. <laughs> there is no bond on you. Uh, And you see it, like, eating something in the distance. Do you wish to sneak up on it, or...? Yes. Stealth is wonderful. I mean, we can try. I'm going to sneak. And Hold on. I'm at disadvantage because I'm on chain mail. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Do you want me to sneak or somebody else to sneak? I'm, I'm sneaking at a 16. Okay, yeah, yeah. It would be better for you because to Because I'm unarmored. All right, so who's all sneaking towards it? I'm going to stun it on my first attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'll do it. <laughs> it's a con save. It like... probably wouldn't work out that well. Sneak, my stealthy friend. How far away is it? Like, it... Oh, Are you measuring it out? Okay. Yeah, I'm measuring it out. You guys are probably further back. Oh, yeah, no. Six. We don't want to... We're hiding behind some thick jungle. As well. Mm -hmm. I just hope Hmm. it doesn't notice me as I approach. Yeah. Wait, it is a humanoid, so it is like no, it's a giant. Giant. It is sentient, though. Yeah. Okay. So technically, giants are humanoid in form, but they're not humanoid in monster type. All right. And with my ring, it makes it so that way they can't tell who is invading their thoughts. So if I try to, well, even without. Your ring, they couldn't tell who's invading their thoughts. They oh, okay. Thoughts well, they can make head. a save, can't they? Or, like, without the ring, they could have, like, they could no, try they and No, they just have to be willing for most of your things that talk to them. Oh, okay. And I'm pretty sure it's not willing for a random voice to go in its head. True. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I do. Yeah, because I'm trying to think. I know your telepathy requires them to be willing. I don't know about message. I do have suggestion, which I know isn't a willing one. <laughs> yeah, that, that would give it a save. Uh, what's the yeah. distance on suggestion? Uh, let me double check. As I'm slowly sneaking forward. Yeah. Um, range of thirty feet, so I have oh, to get no, pretty you're, close. You're, you're, yeah. Oh, I'm like, yeah. You're way out of range, range, man. It's like it like has a whole deer that it's is almost like, hundred feet away from you. Picked up and eating. Oof. And then um, 
Quest okay. moves forward, it turns around. It's like, what? And looks at you with its hunched over form and its one large beady eye. Oh, crap. <laughs> Wait, is this a Cyclops or a Fomorian? <laughs> well, it has a smaller eye. One is larger and beady. Ah, right, right, right. That makes sense. Mm hmm. Uh... And you guys weren't really hiding either because you didn't roll stealth. I didn't. I didn't want to move. <laughs> yeah, it, it it saw through your sneaky hobbitses shenanigans. Oh crap! <laughs> sneaky hobbitses. And okay. now it's initiative. Hmm. Right. I gotta click. Come on! I want to go first. first for no reason because I can't reach it. <laughs> the best. Oh crap! <laughs> 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 okay, Tim, you can go before me, I guess. <laughs> All right. It is that far away. It's also really slow to react because it's still like, it has still like some of the deer like in its mouth that was been chewing. And so I was like, uh, one, it has a great club in one hand and a, and a half of a deer corpse in the other. <laughs> I'm wondering what my movement is. <clears throat> Do I have anything that increases it yet? Starting at second level, I get 10 extra feet. Okay, I have a 40-foot movement. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is my turn then. Um, just oh, here. I should have gotten an additional die with that critical hit because I have savage attacks from half work. Oh, well. Now I know. Do you have anything you can shoot without moving forward? Me? It's 95 feet away from you. Uh, I don't think I, I don't have anything I could shoot at 95 feet, but I like I can cast spells up to my range, <laughs> which is about I mean, 30 you, to. Uh, Eldritch Blast is 120 feet. I was gonna say I know Wait, Eldritch what? Blast is, has a range far enough for that. Holy cow! Okay. And I know I can shoot it twice, so I mean. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Go ahead and do that then. All right, roll. That's why I recommended you grab Eldritch Blast because it's the most powerful yeah. cantrip that hits. in existence. Okay, and I'll roll the second one. <laughs> I assume that hits as well. <laughs> there we. Go. Little little bits of damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you like hit it like in its chin. You get rid of some of the dribble on it. It looks kind of annoyed that you got rid of some of its food. <laughs> <laughs> oh crud uh clash okay so i'm going to spend a key point to dash as the bonus action all right and i can i believe yeah i can get behind it <laughs> it's gonna be like Where tiny thing go? <laughs> and Looks then, like between its legs. <laughs> I probably could have went between its legs because it's two size categories bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will use my action to quarter staff it. All right. That With hits. a stunning strike, of course. So it's going to make a con save. All right. What is its con? Its con is number. It's probably big. <laughs> uh, I believe it was a 15 oh. that I had to get, so... It is, it is very chunky. Or was chunky. it a 13? It was a 13. 13, yeah, no, it, it definitely made it. Yeah. Sad day. Nobody else can get to it, by the way. Not if they want to attack. No. Fact, well, I can team. move. In fact, yeah, nobody else can get to it. Get to it. Like yeah, I was the only one move. that could do that. Well, I have I have a javelin and a crossbow. Right, but I'm the only one in melee range. Yeah, I regret yeah. nothing. <laughs> so I will move my thirty feet. Oops, grab it. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Thirty feet. I will move my thirty feet. <sighs> 
It's 50 foot range. I do have a crossbow that I can shoot at it. It's going to... And Michael ruled you can shoot it twice, so... There's one. (laughs) I'm not thinking... That hits. Deek! (laughs) We're slowly dwindling its genuine mystical of health. Yep. Looking back at Tim, you might want to stand behind me, little one. Um, can we have Taco actually do things in this fight, please? Because <laughs> this might get dangerous. Yeah, in I'll silence, I'll go. lick my lips. I will have Taco go after the giant. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the giant's turn. Oh boy, here it comes. It turns at the half orc. Ash. It crits. <laughs> um, oh, we're Shepherd Scarf. Shepherd Scarf, right now. All right. I pull out my Shepherd Scarf. It attacked you. Uh, is that? Does that have a range on it? Um, wait a second. Um, is it ally within fifty feet? I'm 50 sixty-five feet away. No. No, you have to be fifty feet away. Yeah, I went to this yeah. side because I was setting up a uh, advantage if yeah. anybody ever got I, close. I, yeah, I but... totally no, no, I can't use shepherd scarf. See, Clutch okay. did that, and he attacked, and then he realized, wait a minute, nobody else can get here. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so it deals you forty-two points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, I'm at zero. Oh. Oh, sorry, my bad. I'm at one. I'm half work. <sighs> I'm just like, I hate you. <laughs> Half work, no go squish. Ish. Oh, dear lord. Uh, yeah, no, it doesn't matter. I'm at zero now. Yeah. Deals 22 points of damage. Yeah. It's, well, yeah, I have 33 hit points. It wasn't going to kill me in that hit. The last one, yeah. if it crit again, it could have. <laughs> yeah. I That's it... why I rolled. 8, 16, 24. Oh. Yeah, no, it, even if it got three eights, it couldn't have killed me. Let's see. Not outright. Go to there? Do it. Yeah. Okay. To there. Relentless endurance. I have to wait until I finish a long rest again. Smash other things. Wait, does it have three attacks? No. Okay, good. It was just using its movement. <laughs> Multi attack. It can make two melee attacks and throw a rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's higher levels. Ah. Uh, Let oh. me just pull up Taco's uh, character sheet here. Kind of reminds me of Meganar. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Um, I'm thinking, should um, when my turn comes around, should I throw darkness out around us? Because that was um, pretty bad. I mean, <laughs> it just one tap. Well, it actually hit me twice. <laughs> you don't know how I yeah, survived the first one. <laughs> fair enough, okay. But still, seeing that amount of damage with just like witnessing that, I would think yeah. that. I, I, the thing with darkness is. I mean, it, it's stupid because it, <laughs> giants yeah. are not known for their wisdom or intelligence. So maybe it mm-hmm. could work with this guy, but the vampire just was like, "Oh, darkness, good idea." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm I'm thinking, should we throw it out around him? Like, should we use it at all? Throw it around us or never around him? put darkness on the thing you want to fight because then you can't fight Got it. it. Fair enough. Especially if it's a dragon. Because they're not it. Using Taka's amazing sense of how to calculate numbers, he's going to stand there. He's going to bless all three of you. We get a blessing. Yeah, yeah you roll a d4 and add it to all attack rolls, saving throws, and ability check. Oh, we roll a d4 right now? Uh, roll a, a d4 and add the number to, rolled to attack rolls or saving throws. Sorry. Okay. Whenever you make an attack roll or saving throw. Oh, right. whenever oh, we do. Okay, so we don't roll the d4 right now. No, you, it's whenever you roll. You've had dust on you before. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. I think I have. 
Yeah. Well, better. I know you have because uh, it's a certain uh, there priest has used it on you before. Uh, no. Tim, it is your it is your go. Okay, and now he is still like sixty feet away or so. Seventy-five. So, um, uh, really, all I can do, like, would you guys want? I could cast darkness on you two, like, like kind of like origin right here, and get both of you, and you'll be right on the edge of it, and he might get dumb and start walking around. You guys want it? Um, but I don't want to be in the dark. I can't see in the dark. Well, you can't yeah, see. I know, but even if you have dark vision, you can't see in dark in magical yeah. darkness. Yeah. Yeah, so I know I can't either, but uh, what I was doing the last fight, tried to do with the vampire fight, is uh, pop in and out of the darkness, so that way he... So, I mean, do you think you can handle his damage when he gets up? Because he's ultimately going to run at you and, and crush you, so... One, I can I can take one attack. We gotta kill okay. this guy fast. So... I mean, as long as he doesn't do you... crit, you should be more fine than that. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll see how it goes, because... Worst comes to worst, I guess I could throw darkness and you can, like, escape into it. I don't think it gets attack of opportunity when you jump into it, right? If you if you had put it, like, you know you're, what I'm saying? You're like, still but, leaving his threat range. But he can't, he doesn't see. Unless he has the vision to be able well, to he, see through it. He can it. see you leave the threat range. You actually take the attack before you leave the 10 feet. Or before you leave oh. the range. You take the attack, and if you as, uh, as he if sees he cast you it, away. If he cast it on them. Yes. Uh, so if I cast it right next to him and and crit and crit me was standing like on the block right next to him and he just jumped into the dark like full into the darkness, he would okay, still so, get attacker opportunity on him. Yeah, because essentially you'd see him trying to run into the darkness, want to kill oh, okay. the squishy. But if you cast it on the giant and him, the giant. So would if be someone's like, standing what? here and the and the darkness oh, okay. is that line, and they go to back uh -huh. out of his threat range, he'll still get an attack of opportunity on them. So it would have to be on both of them in order to work yeah. that way, which would be bad because then yeah, they'd just be running around. Because you'd be blinded, <laughs> so you'd have disadvantage on attacking mm -hmm. them if you're in the darkness. It's, yeah, yeah. So that, okay. that, that is something in, in case things go poorly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll keep if it. You, have to, and, you can always just drop darkness and get out of there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'll definitely keep that in case we need. Um, Eldritch Blast, Blast is a cantrip, correct? Yes, yep. it's a cantrip. So I only have... What? You can keep casting you, it you as can long just... as you're conscious. Oh, that's right. Spell slots, I should only have three? Because I... I have third level spell, basic spells. My cantrips are higher level, though. Your, your cantrips uh, are based off of your character level. Your spells okay. are based off of whatever spell level your warlock gives you. Yeah, I believe I'm at spell level three. That sounds right. I can double check. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. I don't know where I would have put that though. It's you just have the three third level spell slots, if I'm not mistaken. I have. Oh, I didn't put them in the third level spot. No, you probably third just level put is you had. You have. Yeah. Oh, One two, and two third right level. Now. Sorry, two third level spell slots. Gotcha. You should know okay. three invocations. I. I'm looking at my spell list right now, and it doesn't really. It just says one, two, three. Like it's just numbered. It doesn't tell me what they are. Okay, spell so, slots remaining. So, third level spell slot should have a zero next to it right now. Put that as two because yes. you have two of those. Okay. It doesn't track yeah. warlock spell slots for some reason. Yeah, that is odd. Okay, I was just confirming I can use Eldritch Blast um, again Yeah, you can here, use that really the only number thing. of times. Sweet, they okay, well. I will go ahead and hit him another two times with my Eldritch Blast. Normal. Oh, wait, Um, I have to roll the, the uh, D4, right? On the yeah. attack? Yeah, okay, I had so to do, do I roll that first? Uh, you might as well roll the Eldritch Blast first. Okay. Roll the Eldritch Blast, I'll tell you if it hits. That would miss, roll the d4. Okay, so... The d4 just in the auto dice right here. Ah, yeah, yeah they do. They that have all the misses. standard dice. Just barely. Sizes. Dang, okay, I'll roll... Uh, I still get the d4 on the second one, correct? Yeah, yeah. It's as long as it on plus everything. Up. That hits. Don't worry all about right. the d4. 
All right. Oof. Okay. <laughs> wow, you're very consistent with your uh, force damage there. That's yeah, rolling yeah. a d10. Okay. <laughs> uh, Josh. <laughs> Here we throw. go. This go. one is completely my fault, by the way. There's no way it's anybody else's fault. Here we go again. Okay, okay. one success. <laughs> if I die, I can only blame myself for moving there. Krishmir, it is your go. But okay. it's, what, it's what my character would have done. So. Mm. I look back at Taco. Oh. Oh. Taco, the, the big monster is going to... I remember him hitting my friend first before Taco moved. Um... Let me check. Uh, he he Taco's was Taco's in range of being. He close. was here twenty no, no twenty five feet. Hold on. Um, twenty five. So feet. his center was here. So he only moved twenty five feet. Was he supposed yeah. to move thirty? Hmm. What, yeah, he's supposed to move thirty. Okay, he's one square further down. There you go. Just okay, make sure that because you you measure from the center and then you put the center. yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, either it, 30 would be here. He's going to run to us. Yeah, 30 would be <clears throat> enough to hit either of you if you wanted to. He's, oh, he's going, he's going to, he's going to kill. Kill or I horribly mean, maim somebody. If you want to use tactics, you could back up. And if shoot. I move. Yeah, but Taco's, he, he's saying that Taco's still in range. If I move yeah. here. He's going to come in between us, and then Taco will get advantage on attacking, but I won't. Well, or he'll stop one square before that and be able to attack you diagonally, and neither of you get advantage. Yeah, he, oh, he, he has attack. large reach. Basically. So if he goes here? Oh, he would, he would, he would still get the diagonal attack. Yeah. Because um, he, he takes up nine force... squares. <laughs> How do I force this to be advantage? You you can't really. Okay. Because uh, he I can would just have move to... in a weird spot that would just negate any movement you did. Okay. Well, actually, then I am going to be very selfish. <laughs> uh, so he would take up. He, he could get to like there ish hold on so the center of him would be yeah so it's still 30 feet so he could come to here technically his yeah, that, edge would the come. edge of that square yeah he would come here at the most so he could still technically attack either one of us yeah he would probably attack me because i just attacked him yeah large creatures are difficult to <laughs> deal with mm -hmm. with movement because you have to make sure that when you're measuring from the front, that when you get to 30, that's the front of him. Or if you're measuring yeah. from, yeah, wherever you're measuring, you have to make sure. Either way, this is technically, well, center to center is 30. Either way, he could come all yeah. the way over here and touch me. This is a lot easier when you have actual minifigures, when, when you get up to size categories above medium. Mm -hmm. Um... One of us is going to get pummeled after this. Yeah. That was the difficulty. If I weren't so far away, maybe Taco could get to me and heal me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the other thing. Do I want to move up and force the movement to... away from Tim? I'll be right back. All right. Oh, if if I attack him, he's gonna pummel me, and his health is crazy good. Well, wait a minute. If I hit, if I walk up to you, give you spider climb, and then you grapple and climb up on him and do him uh, God of War style, would that work? <laughs> I mean. You could do that, yes. <laughs> oh, holy oh, cow. I, I, have, I have a huge strength advantage to him, and so I could try to take him down. 
and spider climb would allow you to sprint on any surface. So I mean, if you could okay. do it, if you rolled high enough, you could literally just run up his back. Like not that it would require <laughs> like an athletic thing. The spider climb would make it to where you just do it, oh, and God. you focus all your strength on just cutting him. Oh God! And so, that definitely would be like disadvantage at the minimum for him trying to get you. <laughs> <laughs> could I, okay, I don't have a feat called grapple, but could I try and I don't know. I have a huge strength and uh, grappling athletic. is it would be uh, grappling just makes them so they can't move in five e. They can still okay. like attack yeah, or okay. try to break out of it. Yeah. So that's not helpful for me. I I need to give him a disadvantage on attacking. I mean, you know, what's he attacking with? Uh, his great club. I mean, you can <laughs> just try to disarm yeah, he but it'd be really hard because your class doesn't give you disarming yeah no. he, he he didn't do 3d8 points of bludgeoning damage with the deer corpse <laughs> well he he could have punched me it well i mean if it's you a did deal that much damage with the uh, with a deer corpse you probably should leave <laughs> <laughs> hey the horns hit me right Tim, well, yeah, it, eight plus. i mean it's no, that was six yeah that was 68 yeah that, yeah. Was, a crit. Like, that well, was a crit yeah yeah, because yeah. the first attack he rolled was an instant crit. <laughs> it's like, Which oh. would have been fine if this, you know, he missed on the second one. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Oh, he'd so... have to roll like a what a five to have missed me. He is a big scary boy. Yeah. He's a plus nine on his throw. Oh. Yeah. He has a plus nine on bashing. Yeah. Yeah, that's just that hurts. Okay. I imagine he doesn't have that great of a dex, though. <laughs> yeah, he he is not the most dexterous of uh, people. Okay. Nor is he the most intelligent or charismatic. <laughs> you know, Fomorians are not very charismatic in general. Mm -hmm. When we need magic <laughs> users right now. And that's when he casts fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when did he turn into an Orog? Oh, that would be that would be the worst thing. Oh. Um, Does he have like some sort of death eye gaze because he's a Fomorian? Or is that reserved for the actual uh, Baylor demons? I don't know. Mm, okay. You could roll me a check, but you're unconscious right now. Okay, we're doing this. I'm my com new uh, orcish friend has fallen, so I'm going to come up here and attack, and hopefully give time to All right. my paladin, my paladin friend, to heal him or do something. I do not want Tim to die again or fall down <laughs> again. I'll take the uh, I'll take the fight away from Tim. All right, roll your attacks. So first attack that hits. Swing. Nice. You Second good. attack. That uh, roll the bless. Roll the bless. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll the d four. Roll one. D four. You need a. Oh, that hits. I was gonna say. Yes. I'm pretty sure you need a two, judging by the last one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, he they're relatively easy now. to hit. But they just have a lot of hit points. Mm -hmm. He takes a step forward. Bad little sword man. And tries to club you. Bring it. It's an 18 hit. I am an 18. Oh. All right. He hits you for 14 points. <laughs> uh, really? Uh, whatever. Okay, I, I suppose I he crit me the first time, so whatever. I yeah, he, he crit me the first time and I then rolled the 14. Up. That's it rolled really 30, high. 28. Yeah, so he takes another step forward. And then he looks at the... Oh, no, he does. As his evil eye glares at you, Isaac, could you make me a charisma saving throw? Oh, psh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he has a negative intelligence. This is not going to go well, but... I have a plus well, eight to my charisma, by the way. Yeah, to the Oh, same, do I yeah. gain a... Yeah, I don't gain proficiency with my ring, do I? Yeah. Uh, so you take half this damage. Okay. It's still going to be a decent chunk of damage if I'm not moving. Oh, oh god! 15! Oh. 
15 hold on, oh, hold on. You're 30, uh, you're more than 30 feet. 50 Jesus. feet? You're 60 <laughs> feet away from me. That also wasn't I an attack. Do that. Oh. That I'm also wasn't 16. an attack, it was an ability. Well, he was good. just. Oh, yeah, he was an attack before that. Yeah. Taco moves to initiate flanking maneuvers. Kill him, Taco. Uh, he gets a D4, because he also blessed himself. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Yes. Okay. Oh, and Taco does... thought ahead of time. Yeah. And then, yeah, he has two attacks as a power. So. Uh, actually, I'm going to have him smite on that one as well. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that. Oh, it's blood gone attacks. Jeez. Yeah, so he he brings down holy wrath upon it to do another ten points of damage. Right. Wait, is it three at level five? Uh, he used the second level slot. It is two d eight base and then another one. Oh, right, D8 right, right. Per... You, you know what you're up alive? against, so you're giving him... <laughs> All right, how far away am I? Uh, still... Uh, you are 60 feet from it. Basically. Oh, okay. Well, I wonder I mean, you're, how... Uh, yeah. you are, I know he has a... 50, 50 away. 55, 55 yeah. yeah. 50 if okay, you well, want I for know... some reason go up to him. 55 for spell range. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me see. 30 feet for... Oh, that's suggestion. You don't want to get um, within 30 feet. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't want to get closer, but well, I know he can, he can move all... Yeah, you don't want to get closer because it's, its reach is not beyond the normal five foot of reach. Um, you also you might want to back up after getting hit by that eye thing, too. True. I don't know, can I, though? I think that's the end of that. I would have to, like, move... A, well, like, technically the map goes further, right here. but yeah. The map goes further than this. But you can also just go okay. diagonally, so, to, you know... Yeah. yeah, that's what I was going to do. Uh, so could I hit him twice with my uh, blast again and then and then use a movement? Because it's yeah. technically mm -hmm. one spell? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, because your movement isn't part of any action or anything. So. Yeah, I just wasn't sure because I'm hitting twice. That it no, didn't it's, use it's still just the one okay. spell. You're not okay, using your okay. bonus action. But e either way, it wouldn't affect your movement. Okay, so that's... That hits... That. All right, so I don't have to roll four. <laughs> okay, well, I'll do it again. <laughs> Kill him. Uh... <laughs> I feel okay. Hmm. Roll your uh, bluff. I... Yeah. That God. Happens. Okay, and then I'll just uh, let me. St I need to. I can, I can only move. Corners. Thirty feet. I can move thirty, so I can move that right there. All right. No. Wow, that no. feels good. No, isn't it from his center? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I, I know what no, you're I'm, doing. I think the range I know is what you're from doing. wherever he oh. happens to... Well, maybe, maybe the range of spells should be from should center. should have moved yeah. backwards. Uh, I mean, you could have gone this square and been the same yeah, amount you of movement. You could have. Okay, oh, should I do that or is yeah. Yeah. you you would have known to go you, diagonal you, and backwards. Yeah, you, yeah, okay. you, backwards. you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Josh, death saving throw. Oh no! It has begun. All right. <laughs> Crit near. <laughs> this thing shall die. Now I have advantage, you foul beast. It looks at you like, what is advantage? Um, club, club. Yeah, so <laughs> it hits. The Unfortunately, first one hits. Yeah. Without for 12, crit. For 12 points of slashing. My second swing. Ooh. Yes. For another 20. And I will take my second wind. 
Oh, yes. So now I get to swing again. You mean your action surge? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yes, yeah, action surge. I'm sorry, not second wind. Second My action surge. Advantage. With one more swing. Yeah, just to see if you crit. Ah. Okay, just click the damage. And one more swing. And with, I want to crit. That's so close. Oh, oh. oh You don't crit. But no, it's but you did dead. so much damage to it in one turn. <laughs> of course, that's what your class is supposed to do. Yes. So. Smash. Smash. Man. Slashy man, take damage. 20 mm. points. Nope, I am going. I am I taking my stones stone endurance. endurance. I, I take, take a reaction. Roll a d12, add con modifier, and reduce the damage. Alright. Uh, con modifier. So d, d12 plus 1. Gotta get that con up. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's a fighter, so he has a lot more opportunities than normal to get yeah. that. So you take nine points of damage. Oh. Okay, good, good, good. Are, are I you can conscious? No, no, I'm, I'm bloody. bloody. Oh, are are you still up? Is what I'm asking. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm bloody. Yeah. He's he. Awake. He wants to make the. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Swing and a miss. In a miss. Only one time though. And then it's Taco. Okay. Who tr strikes at this thing. Ooh. And he's going to smite. See, he's going to smite a bitch. He's going to oh. smite smite. Which doubles his smite because he crit. Yeah. Oh. So, it, so it takes... Like, the, the bludgeoning by itself would kill it. But because... Reasons. It also takes another 25, 29 points of radius. Oh. After. So it's already on the ground. Various pocket marks from all the Eldritch Blasts it's been taking. A little toothpick in it that someone shot from a little thing. A bunch of cut wounds as it's like on its knees. And then Taco like bashes his armor with his shield, brings the flail down on its head, and it cracks in, and the body doesn't fully go. The all the way down, and then a thunderous burst of light just boom, and its head is a pancake, and it's fully well. The head, with the exception of the eye, no, because good. I'm not going to. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Isn't like it isn't like oh, you needed this, and now you have to find a find another one and do this again. <laughs> no, uh, it's just like he. I'll reflavor it so this. He basically wraps the chain around the neck, pulls it down. You hear a snapping. And then a thunderous boom as the uh, smite kicks in. It's basically, its head breaks off via chains. He rips it off. Okay, so nobody can reach All me, right. so I'm just going to roll now. Ooh. And then he moves forward 30 feet. I, I pre rolled my thing because nobody can reach me. Uh, in a turn, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just rolled for when when I go next. That I failed. Ding dong, the giant's dead. Uh, the only reason we're still in initiative is to because I am also dying. I have to, dying. Yeah, on my turn, I have two fails. Okay. Oh Jesus. Oh. Okay. So, um. Tim, you really can't help me. Yeah, there's no way I can even get there. <laughs> you can't get Taco, there but, after yeah. killing the giant moved there. Yeah. So just to I mean you can get sixty ensure. feet, but that's it. Yeah. Alright, so uh, I don't even see where the hell are you Oh, you're out there. I'm all the way at the like, top because I got around him and then because yeah, my character would right do that. He's like, I'm gonna set up and then he realized, wait, I move like faster than anyone right else. What am I doing? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah. There's no. I don't think there's anything I can throw or no, like spell wise. No. You don't have anything you. as a warlock that can save me. Damn. Well, I mean, I could probably take your soul. <laughs> uh, Possibly. Yeah, if, so if your patron could, you couldn't. Yeah. 
Oh, true. Uh, you already pre-rolled for this thing, so don't roll again. Yeah. Uh, Crit Beer, what do you do? Paco is going to so perform for So the thing is, even if you get to me by dashing, you can't do anything. No, I no, I, I have potions of healing, but that's all I have. Uh, Taco's going to be able to get there in time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Taco's going to catch him. He's going to okay. give me. You know, he doesn't have to give me much. He just needs to give me one, and I'll be up. Mm-hmm. And then we need uh, to take a long rest. <laughs> all right. So yeah, Taco gets me up anyways. What's that? Smash me over the top of the head. Okay. The only so, way I could have died is if I rolled a one there. Yeah, I know. I, I'm like, he failed once. Please not another natural one. Yeah. Because <laughs> you have before. That happened. So Taco Please. can just use his lay on hands on me. He doesn't have to roll medicine yeah. or anything. So. Mm-hmm. Well, the thing is, he can also use cure wounds and the like. Why would he? That's a spell slot. <laughs> okay, so the eye needs to be gouged out. But before that, I'm going to practice. I'm going to chop off his toes. So uh, how is he going to heal me so I know how much health I have? Um, let me look at the D and D Beyond Paladin thing to see how much he, he can. He has twenty five uh, for lay on hands because it's five times your Paladin level. All right. So Crit Bear starts dismembering the giant's feet first. Yes. Taco approaches and gives you twenty five HP. Okay. Whew. Much better. Also, just for funsies, roll what your next death save would have been. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I guess why not? Oh, yeah. it's a good thing you healed yeah. me. Yeah. And we're out of Like initiative. I said, that would have been completely my fault and nobody else's. And we're out of initiative. The big bad giant is dead. You also have half a deer. If, you know, anyone wants that. I am no. famished. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want, but... We want to cook it. Uh, I want some giant's toes. Okay, and we need to gouge his eye out. Mm-hmm. I have a jar. Do we want to put it in a jar? I mean, that would probably be the best. Okay. So I will add a... What the hell was that noise? Um, that's the puppy one, man. Okay, oh. so I need an, an eye in a jar. Yeah. And a, it is the eye of a Fomorian. Of a... And a in a and not Jen. HR. Okay, in I have gin. one. I have <laughs> one glass bottle left. Oh, you you just happen to have some flasks. I mm-hmm. yes, I I was preparing myself. Yeah, Crimmer came prepared. Hmm. I was prepared. For being able to take two hits and then he crit. So. <laughs> yeah. Like the only way I could have gone down there is if he crit on the first attack and hit on the second. That's the only way I could I have know. actually gotten down to uh, zero. <laughs> I know. That was. That was sil- That's That was some silliness off the bat. Yeah. Well, you guys dealt with it, I guess. My head hurts. Like nobody's. <sighs> yeah. Just. Can we take a long rest? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say this is probably a good point to end off. Can we take the long rest first this time? <laughs> yeah, you, you get the long rest first. <laughs> okay, because... And, and, and the long rest also will level you all to six. Ooh. Yeah. As you have conquered this deadly foe. Very deadly. Much ow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big club, much smash. (laughs) 